There we go. How's that? Whoa. That spiked. Maybe... Let's see here. Energizing combo set. Hey! I guess that could work, honestly. As long as that's good and you can hear me properly. Login. Complete. body feels in that weird mood where I want to take a nap, but I have too much energy for it, so, yeah. Click! Ugh. Feels so wonderful to be back on here, at least. Ugh, let's see. Thank you. Yay. I will take that. Helen. And we'll just recommend it. I swear sometimes they could almost be like those freaking minions. Freaking take whatever I can get. PC is back. That's all I care about. There's our good boy. Yay! Okay, what have you got for me? No! I got boned! to jumpstart your day. What do I want? That honestly sounds good if I'm not... if I'm being real above anything. Ha! Ah. Uh... Uh, just give me the tin master. <laughs> Coffee enthusiasts, here you go. <laughs> well, you know, coffee is not a must, but a calm and relaxed mindset sure is. One, two, three, four. Hallelujah. could think of. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Woo! Yep. That's what I saw. 
Baba. Hey. Give me one second. Let's go ahead and do it to this as well. Look at me getting my dailies. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, that actually takes care of that. Is that the one I've been on a motorcycle? Okay, I already did those at least. Nothing else. Woo! Okay. It was with that. Hello. Someone back here. Ah! What's up, Ambi? Daily lost a document of what? Seems to be an important document for all oh my Yeah, Nicole would lose her head over that. Daily's very anxious now. He's now thinking about selling him. Okay. If it weren't for any other game, that could be taken differently. Nicole, being very forgiving, said it was not a big deal to lose the document. Cunning Harris can't afford to lose that much Denny's. Searching in a nearby area. Covering 6th Street. Could you help me look for the document? Eh, sure. I think it should be somewhere close by. Let's start with this dumpster. Open the lid! The lid! is filled with all kinds of discarded books and magazines. Oh, it better not be in the bottom layer. I swear. Only magazines. Sensitive content. Not appropriate for readers of all ages. Go for it. Middle. Discarded novels and comic books. Oh, just grab it. Do with some sanitation. You can buff that right out. Oh, of course, it's at the bottom. Oh, Lord. An IOU copy? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Uh... It's an IOU. Now I see why Nicole. Yes, sink! Oh my lord. How much debt do you guys owe? I reckon only Nicole knows the exact figure. She's never mentioned it to us. She said the figure was so scary that even just the thought of it gave her nightmares. This is Nicole we're talking about. Ugh. He's Billy, doesn't need to worry about selling himself to the black market now. Oh my lord. Please don't. Oh. I don't know. That's not a compliment. I refuse. Hey! Wait, does that actually. Hey! I actually got this done! Gimme, gimme! Yay! Oh, I can also get these too. Oh, Lord. Look at all these extra goodies. I just need to get trust to level four with three agents. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm so close to 51, 52. Darn. Oh, well. Morning. Want to start this beautiful day with a win? Hey, Ash. Uh, such a weird game. I thought they addicting, honestly. Oh my goodness, I could be om nom. Ha! Ah!
They're here. Om Nom needs to be in. Survived. Seems like Om Nom needs to be focused on actually killing, so I need more. Give me that. They're here. Survived. Yay. this. Uh-oh. No! Om Nom! You must live! Survive. Aha! Yeah, yeah! Alright, what I get? Uh, no. No. Now. Personalities. <laughs> Sounds like he's saying fusion ha. That just thinks makes me think of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, take him. And I'll just this. They're here. Am I not getting health? I did something horribly wrong. Ow. Ah. Uh, and feet. No. <laughs> oh well. Ah. Leaving already? Ugh, wish I could get out of here early. Hero would have asked you to play with me. Weird is happening. I don't know why. I kept losing whenever I play against Nicole and the others. 
Alone at the arcade or playing online, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Welcome to Godfinger. Uh, First off, read through our school policy, please. Oh, okay, cool. Aha. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Looking forward to your next visit. Okay. Alrighty. Enough procrastination. Let's do this. Okie dokie. Time for story. Whee! My old friends, the two Faithins. It's been a while. How have you both been lately? Not too bad, thanks to you. Of course, things would be even better if you could get us the business we need. Oh, dear. Well, when you say it like that, I'm not quite sure how to put the next part. It sounds like you're going to let us down. Please, hear me out. It's completely out of my hands. The city has recently beefed up security measures for the election. Not just on the main roads. They've also got people stationed on the hollow exits leading to the outer ring. Hmm. Although there have always been quite a few outer ring smugglers using the hollows for transport, risks have skyrocketed recently, and most clients have given up on doing business in the city for now. Even if you find someone willing to risk it, those small fry definitely won't have what you're looking for. So you passed up on my valuable commission to do business in the outer ring. You're looking for a reliable source of intel, right? It seems you know us all too well, Shepard. Well, we've been partners for a while now. Don't worry, I don't need to know the details. Though I don't have any business for you, I didn't come here for nothing. Here's my two Denny's. If you're looking for information, try to get in with the Outer Ring biker gangs. Biker gangs? The people of the Outer Ring live far apart, and the transportation of supplies relies heavily on the biker gangs. They're well respected among the residents, and nothing happens there without them knowing about it. Interesting. It's unfortunate that this option is beyond the scope of my business, so this is all the help I can offer you. <clears throat> <sighs> well, that's all I have to say. I'll let you get back to your business. If you change your mind and want to make some easy money in the near future, feel free to contact me anytime. Thanks. We'll think about it. See ya. We got a useful piece of intel, but it definitely won't make finding Perlman any easier. So we are going after the mayor. Alrighty then. We have no other choice. The Outer Ring is completely out of our scope of operations. Speaking of which, finding intel on Pearlman has been harder and harder in the city lately. Even Fairy hasn't been able to find any useful leads. Wise. Don't you think this whole thing is strange? I don't understand. What's so strange about it? Think about it, Wise. The Outer Ring might be vast and sparsely populated, but for someone to survive there, they still have to come into contact with other people. She's not wrong. Perlman's escape caused quite a stir, and public security is looking for him. You'd think there'd be all kinds of intel on him by now. How does a living, breathing person disappear into thin air? Hmm. I said I give up! You win! <laughs> now that's more like it, old man. If you'd spoken up sooner, we could have saved ourselves the effort. All right. Any other challengers? Oh, that looks like the new girl, Caesar. Anyone else? Big Daddy. 
We got the spark stone! I wonder how much they paid that voice actor to say that. Now you can't say it's not the right time for us to join the Torrid Inferno! We, the sons of Caledon, are the strongest! This time I'm gonna swipe while the iron's hot and seize the Overlord's throne! <sighs> it's strike while the iron's hot, you idiot! <laughs> the Overlord's throne, huh? Big mask! Caesar, well, my opinion Maybe. hasn't changed. Since you've earned the right, go test the waters. Huh? Aren't you coming with us? I'm retired. This kind of action-packed stuff should be left to the young'uns. Besides, someone's got to look after the transport business. Caesar! Big Daddy! We found something amazing over there! Oh, it's an airship! This is the first time I've seen one up close. Hey, Caesar, there's a live one over here. It's such a serious accident. This guy's lucky to be alive. I feel like I've seen this face before. It's not just any guy. This is the defendant in that vision case from the city. He's on the public security's most wanted list. So much money! Enough to drink nitro fuel like water for the next 30 years! Enough to buy five steel tusks? <sighs> public security sure is generous. Public security? No! Don't hand me over to public security! I'm begging you! I, I know who the real mastermind is! I have evidence of their crimes! Evidence! I feel like he's going to die from just touching her. Just saying. Inside random play... To be honest, I'm starting to doubt if Perlman is even still alive. We can still rely on hand for the sacrifice investigation, but the Cunning Hairs' lawsuit won't be on hold like this forever, will it? Master, second assistant, there is an incoming call from Billy. Should I connect the call for you? Speak of the devil. Barry, put the call through. Oh, manager, you're home! I just sent you a message, but you didn't reply. Sorry, I was dealing with some customers. Didn't check my phone. Manager, I have something really important to tell you, but I prefer to do it face to face. I'm at the corner behind Bardic Needle. Can you meet me there? Billy, that's not far away. Why don't you just come to the store? Uh, because the vehicle I'm driving won't fit through. Uh, wait. A public security officer is coming over. I gotta talk to them real quick. Hey, so I'm hanging up. I'll be waiting. I'm counting on you. Oh, that's not sketchy in the slightest. <laughs> What is Billy talking about? The Cunning Hares usually park their car in our parking lot, don't they? But since you said so, Wise, you should go meet him. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, manager, that was quick. Billy, <coughs> have you left the cunning hairs? What's with the leaps and bounds truck and this bamboo? No way. I'm pretty happy with my life now. And besides, the boss hasn't paid me one denny of my bonus yet. Oh, every time I keep hearing about her and her frivolity, oh my lord. This truck and the Bangboo both belong to the Sons of Caledon, one of the Outer Ring biker gangs. The truck has a new Eridu entry pass, and recently non-residents have had to queue for a long time to get in and out of the city. So I'm helping them transport goods. After all, I used to work for them. That's surprising. I didn't know you've spent time in the Outer Ring. Yeah. Actually, I lived in the Outer Ring for a while. It was a stroke of luck that eventually brought me to the city. 
Manager, we can chat about this later. I have something important to tell you. The Sons of Caladon have intel on Pearlman! Is it credible? It's solid. Their second-in-command told me personally. Manager, the Sons of Caladon know we're looking for Pearlman. They said they can provide exclusive intel on one condition. They want to talk business with Faith and face to face. Oh, that's not ominous in the slightest. You mean they're looking for a proxy? They didn't put it like that, but that's my guess. Manager, though we really need Pearlman for the case we're handling. Nicole said we owe you, so you have the final say on who to work with. Anyway, I'll be helping the Sons of Caladon upgrade their Bang Boo and purchase supplies in the city over the next few days. And then I'll head out to meet them. If you want to meet them face to face, you should come with me. Hmm. Well, alrighty then. Wise, you're back. What did Billy want to talk about? The Sons of Caledon, one of the Outer Ring biker gangs, has info on Pearlman. But they want to talk business face to face. Wise, what do you think? We finally have a lead on Pearlman. There's no way we can pass this up. And Shepard said these people in the Outer Ring are really in the know. Right, but they want you to go to the Outer Ring in person. There are too many unknowns. Billy will be there too. Plus, he's still doing favors for his old boss, so we must get along well. <sighs> All right, I get it. The good thing is that the Outer Ring isn't under New Eridu's jurisdiction, and proxies can operate there unrestricted. So we don't have to worry about anyone finding out that we're Faithin. Wise, you should spend the next couple of days preparing for the trip and taking care of any loose ends. <sighs> May as well dive into it. Whee! Day of departure arrives. Got a ring with Billy today. Have a safe journey. You should go meet Billy at the usual spot. There aren't any many smart devices we can utilize outside the city. We'll keep an eye on you both. Got a ring. Here I come. Tour day for now. Highway of the Outer Ring. Whoa, it stretches on forever. What do you think, manager? The Outer Ring scenery is pretty nice, right? It's also super fun to drive here. But this road is too close to a hollow, and there are so many other hollows around. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. The Outer Ring lacks ether technology, making it hard to eliminate hollows. They can't even mine ether resources. Hey, you see that big guy over there? That machinery. Is it an oil pump? Oh, you're good. This area is called the Old Oil Field. The residents here still rely on petroleum for their livelihoods. Eh? Wait, wait, wait! What's up with that truck? Wait a minute, wait a minute, we're gonna crash! Billy, turn right! Drive into the hollow! <sighs> Oh my, oh my. Interesting. They actually drove into the hollow, and here I thought I'd get to see some explosive carnage. Lord Lucius, I did what you asked. Please, spare me. Please spare me. Although the Sons of Caledon meeting their end in a hollow only earns a 61 from me, I'll let it slide this time, considering your hard work. I hope that in the future, you'll remember this lesson and stop meddling in things that you shouldn't. The second in command of the Vanquishers colluding with an ether corporation in the city? Oh my. That's not a joke you should make lightly. Alrighty then. Already into a hollow. That didn't take long for it to go south.
Watch the bang boo bounce. Manager! Manager! Are you alright? Ugh, my head. Billy, your arm is way too hard. Oh, I'm so sorry! I turned too fast and you slammed into me! <sighs> that oil tanker heading straight for us was terrifying. We only made it thanks to your quick thinking. And the vehicle isn't totaled! But we've fallen into a hollow now. What's our next move? Just before we fell into the hollow, I sent a distress signal to Belle. She'll find a way to help us from the outside. That's great! It's a relief to hear that. Right. Manager, both of you have a special condition that means you can't be in the hollow for too long, right? Don't worry. There's anti-corruption serum in the truck that I helped buy, as well as some discarded hollow data piles from the city. Billy, that's how we escape from the hollow. There must be a carrot in the Sons of Caledon's Bangboo. Plus, the new data from the data piles. Oh, that's right! You're a proxy! You can calculate a path out of the hollow! All right! Let's get to work installing the data piles! I mean, you're not wrong. But I mean, it's Billy. Everybody loves his charm. At least everybody that I see online, anyway. Oh, is it just Billy? Let's go, manager. All right. Let's go the data files. Okay, installing three should be enough. We've got ethereals. Must have been drawn in by the data pile. Don't worry, manager. I'll handle them. Try this! Hey boys, what's up? No, it's my turn! Lovely. <laughs> I've got plenty of bullets. Got one installed. Manager, let's go to the next location. I'll take that. That. More ethereals. And they seem tougher than the last ones. Manager, find some place safe to take cover. It's my turn! Go. 
Ow. Uh-oh, it's a big guy! Let's go back to the car and get out of here. You can do it, manager! We're almost there! I'm really not built for this level of activity. <laughs> oh. It's been a hot minute, little bro. Oh, so this is the proxy I've heard so much about. <laughs> oh! Come on, brother. You've gotten a bit rusty. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's time to shine. There's a three-man proxy team. Ha! The sad part is, I already have her, so I know how she works. Hey, boys! Let's get to it! You really must be feeling confident today. Nah, it's just that I can't get a reimbursement on anything over 10. Brave, fear nothing. What do you think, these are? to pieces by ethereals already don't worry big sis i made out of tough enough stuff to hold out <laughs> <laughs> brother you have nowhere to run but you've still got a mouth on you lighter you just don't know me well enough my body is made out of enhanced materials now forget about ethereals even nicole wouldn't dare hit me barehanded <sighs> It seems that Nicole is pretty high up on the pecking order. So, big sis, lighter, how did you end up here? Oh, I got a strange call earlier from a young girl. She was all panicked and said you fell into this hollow. So it was the deputy manager. Lucy thought it might be a trick, but the intel she gave about you was flawless. And she even laid out a rescue route. Oh, <laughs> so this is the legendary proxy, huh? Who'd have thought? Thanks. You arrived just in time. <sighs> Uh-oh. Hey, Proxy! What's wrong? Manager! Manager! Stay with me! Quick! We gotta get out of here! Hurry! Why, yes. I am a nerd. Oh, come on! Uh, I need a little under a thousand to get a level up. Dang it! <laughs> uh. And Blazewood. <laughs> I have to take some of the blame for this accident as well. 
We, the sons of Caledon, must honor our guests with the finest funeral! Ah. Uh... Lighter, you will be carrying the coffin. That's a heavy responsibility. <laughs> we'll need to keep the hearse driving steady. Piper! Ooh, got it. I'll make sure it's a smooth send off. Bernice! <laughs> Of course, you'll be handling the cremation. You got it! Just gotta burn everything to ashes in misery! Oh, my lord. Lucy? L Lucy? <laughs> Can you all stop goofing around? <laughs> Don't be upset. It's not every day we get to have fun with the cremation ceremony. <sighs> you don't have fun at our guest expense! Bernice! Put away the flamethrower! Now! <laughs> you guys are driving me nuts! Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is it, how are you feeling? Are you hurt? Sorry. Sorry. We got a little carried away. Welcome to the outer ring. May you rise from the ashes. Nice. Okay. After a short while. Nathan, who would have thought you'd both end up here all because of an accident? Must have scared you back then, huh? <laughs> Relax. You two and Billy are thick as thieves, so that makes us friends. Ah, uh, yeah, right. We've been partners in crime for a while now. <laughs> That's not a compliment, mind you! Time for a formal introduction. We're the Sons of Caledon, a biker gang from the Outer Ring. I'm the current boss, Caesar. Billy should have already told you why we invited you. The Sons of Caledon need a favor from you. As for Pearlman, his airship crashed here in the Outer Ring during landing. He's lucky to be alive. But he's badly injured and hasn't woken up yet. Wait, you mean you have Pearlman? Yeah. Wait, didn't Lucy tell you? Don't worry. We'll make sure he heals up. And once he's awake, we'll hand him over to you. Yay, he can answer finally for his stupid ass crimes. Uh, w wait, Caesar, are you stupid? Negotiations haven't even started. And you already handed over such an important bargaining chip? Negotiations? Bargaining chip? Lucy, again with the pettiness. This kind of manipulation and leveraging? Uh-uh. That's not very overlordy. Ugh, easy for you to say. I worked my butt off to keep this info under wraps just for today. If we can't strike a deal with Faithen, where do you expect me to find a reliable proxy for the Tor de Inferno? The Tor de Inferno is our business. I never planned to count on anyone else. Don't worry, Proxy. You coming to the Outer Ring is a sign of respect. Even if you don't agree to help us, I won't go back on my word about Perlman. Caesar, we appreciate your kindness. But as they say, no work, no reward. Belle is right. Actually, we only came today hoping to get a bit of information on Perlman. We could never have expected what you're offering. Since you've been so honest with us, we'll do everything we can to help you. <laughs> Straight to the point! I like it! Can you relax a little now, Lucy? Thanks, Faithen. Your willingness to help will be huge for us. Okay, so what's the Tour de Inferno? So you need a proxy for this Tour de Inferno you mentioned, right? What is it? <laughs> the Tour de Inferno is the biggest event in the old oil field. Only the strongest squads of bikers can compete. It's a test in the hollows to find out who's the best. Caesar, there's no way they'll get it when you put it like that. <sighs> Let me explain. Simply put, the Tour de Inferno is an off-road motorbike race that crosses through a hollow. Only two teams compete, and the rules are simple. The first team to cross the hollow, reach the finish point at Cinderglow Lake, and throw a spark stone into the lake wins. What's the purpose of such a dangerous race? The purpose of the Tour Inferno is to regularly ensure the safety of our oil resources. After all, oil is the lifeblood of the old oil field. Yeah, it makes sense. Naturally, for us biker gangs, the Tour Inferno also serves another purpose. The winner of the race becomes Overlord of the Old Oil Field Motor League. That's right, Faithen. The Overlord is recognized as the top dog of the Motor League. The current Overlord's faction is called the Vanquishers, and their boss held the title for years. Ah, oh, I've been itching to challenge him for a while now. I see. 
lofty aspirations. <laughs> oh, Caesar, if all you think about is shallow stuff like that, it won't be long before the sons of Caledon are mine. People are gunning for the Overlord spot for more than just becoming the top dog. We're not some school kids hooked on fighting manga. See them outside of school somewhere, just basically doing West Side Story finger, uh, finger snapping towards an enemy. Ah! The future of the oil industry in the old oil field relies on the support of the Motor League in every sense of the word. And as the leader of the Motor League, the Overlord is in charge of assigning transport routes. That means they hold real, tangible power. For the past six months, the Vanquishers have only given us the worst routes. <sighs> They're definitely messing with us behind our backs. But when I went to confront them, that smug second-in-command Lucius just said, the Overlord isn't in the old oil field right now, and the routes are decided at random. Hmm. Speaking of the Overlord, he hasn't been seen for half a year. Who knows what he's been doing? But Lucy, what are you afraid of? Even if the roots aren't great, with our skills, it's nothing we can't handle. Besides, you're just mad because there's nowhere to buy makeup and snacks on these roots. Shut up, Caesar! Didn't we agree you wouldn't criticize me in front of guests? What? You call that criticism? It's the truth. And you're the one who's always calling me an idiot. You think I don't have any self-respect? <laughs> you ruin one's plans each time you open your mouth and expect me to praise you? Yeah, yeah. Lady Lucy Montefio, I ruined your plans. <laughs> Are you forgetting who's the one who was so excited about meeting the legendary proxies that she couldn't sleep all night? Uh, enough, Caesar! I challenge you to a duel! Today's the day for the Sons of Caledon to change hands! <laughs> Bring it on! Then we'll see who's scared. Lighter! Come here and be the judge! Are they going to be okay? Fine, Proxy. Don't worry. This is a two or three times a day kind of thing. Uh. Yeah, it's no big deal. Just don't get roped into being the referee, or you might end up on the wrong side of both of them. Anyway, Proxies, it's great to have your help with the Tour de Inferno. Let's give it our best shot. I don't camp out here tonight. Gas station here is closed, but it's totally safe here as it's not far from the town. Oh, you mean that fugitive, right? Just like Caesar said, his airship crashed into the outer ring and we found him. We were about to hand him over to public security for a reward, but before he passed out, he kept yelling something about someone else is behind all this and I've got proof, so we kept him. So Perman does know something. Worry, they usually duke it out far away so they don't disturb so they won't disrupt your sleep. Yeah, I hope they patch. Yeah, they fight and make up in a flash. Even quicker than Steel Tusk's engine eats gas. Let's save the chit chat for tomorrow and catch some Z's today. You must be P. Young guns need to get enough sleep to grow up healthy. Stayed overnight in Blazewood. Next morning! Oh, this is an entirely new area. You're going to tell me I got to explore it. Yep, alrighty then. <laughs> ah. Clever boo, really? Uh. Sometimes I feel bad for them. Grab the goodies. Ah, 
well you were exhausted yesterday right as soon as your head hit the pillow you were out like a light Billy where's Bell I haven't seen her oh I just took him back to your store the other manager and Caesar decided that they're gonna move some of the equipment into your car and set up a mobile proxy workshop you mean moving the HDD equipment out here right the other manager said working in the city would make communication difficult plus smart devices are few and far between in the outer ring and long-range data transmission could slow us down. Oh, morning, Proxy. You're awake. Billy's right. You'll be more efficient working from here in the Outer Ring. Don't worry. We'll take care of the power and network connection. Even in the Outer Ring, you'll be, uh... walking on thin ice! <laughs> it's like she's my level of cringe material for laughter. I can respect that. She probably meant like a fish to water. By the way, before the equipment arrives, let me take you to Blazewood and introduce you to the townsfolk. Lucy said you might not be used to roughing it with us, so I got the mayor to prepare a place for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Ah, it's no problem. After we get back from town, go talk to Lucy and the others. I heard from your sister that you need to collect some hollow data before the race. Lucy and the gang are also preparing for the Torrid Inferno. You should be able to help each other out. Oh, come on, it's so close. Eh. Really? You're here? Uh, I'm not surprised. So this is the proxy from the city? Guess folks from New Eridu start working young, just like us. Caesar, who is this young lady? Young lady? <laughs> you city folks talk funny. I'm Casa, the mayor of Blazewood. The sons of Caledon have taken good care of our town. So if you need anything, just let me know. You can stay in the house behind me tonight. Sorry, it's still got some stuff that hasn't been moved out, but I'll get someone to clean it up. Hey, Casa! I notice a lot of people in town making these woven items. We don't have a choice. The pipeline to town still isn't fixed. Without a gas station, all we can do is make handicrafts to earn a living. Luckily, we got a big order recently. And with the Tour de Inferno coming up, the Sunflints are selling like hotcakes. What's a Sunflint? Oh, it's a kind of handicraft woven from straw. During the Tour de Inferno, almost every house in the old oil field hangs them up. A sun. Huh. Craft made from grass and blaze wood for the residents of the old oil field district. It's also an important decoration for the Tour de Inferno. The center of the ring bears a unique image. It likely holds some significance. Huh. Okay. It's not what I was going to go with, but kind of reminds me of old Indian talismans. 
It's actually kind of interesting. This pattern looks like an upside down person. Wow, Proxy! You're pretty <coughs> smart! The upside down figure is the first overlord of the Motor League. The elders in the outer ring also say this design is the face of the god of sun and fire, guiding the hero to ignite Cinder Lake and return safely from the hollow. Such a unique pattern must have a story behind it, right? Yup! Actually, this pattern represents the legend of the first overlords towards Inferno. Though the old oil field can still produce oil, did you know the core oil field was swallowed up by a hollow decades ago? Wait, isn't oil susceptible to ether corruption? Mm-hmm. After the disaster, etheric matter seeped through the underground facilities and oil pumps, ruining the shallow oil reserves. But Oof. luckily, the collapse of the only deep drilling facility formed a unique natural gas vent. The burning gas kept the etheric matter from spreading further down. So the natural gas vent is Cinder Glow Lake. The appearance of Cinder Lake saved everyone's livelihoods in the old oil field. But even with Cinder Lake, we can't rest easy. Natural gas and etheric matter burning together can easily turn into ether crystals building up around the lake. If left unchecked, more and more crystals will build up and eventually block the vent, extinguishing the lake. If that happens, the underground oil will be doomed. There was a time when Cinder Lake nearly went out. In order to save it, a young man and his friends risked their lives to enter the hollow and blast open an ether crystal using a special spark stone. Just like the one in my hand. Proof of entry filled with a special catalytic fuel. After throwing it into the cinder lake, it can react with the natural gases and ether compounds to detonate an explosion, burying the ether crystals nearby. Interesting. But the hollow was treacherous, and they didn't even have a carrot with them. By the time they reached Cinder Lake, it was almost completely covered with crystals. Out of desperation, the young man rode his bike into the only spot that was still burning in Cinder Lake and managed to ignite it. So, everyone makes sunflints in memory of his sacrifice. <laughs> oh, proxy. I never said the first overlord died there. It's normal for the proxy to think that way. After all, everyone who went to Cinder Lake with him thought he was dead. But a day later, he miraculously emerged from the hollow alive. Folks say the god of the sun and fire was moved by his bravery, allowing him to be reborn from the flames. Since then, the residents have drawn his face in the image of him diving into Cinder Lake on their sunflints. There's even a line from a folk song that goes, Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. That's a great story. No wonder it's widely told. Uh-huh. Kids in the old oil field grew up hearing that story. They used to play games pretending to be the first overlord in the Torrid Inferno. Of course, the first overlord did more than that. After he returned, he gathered all the biker gangs in the old oil field and formed the Motor League. He also made the rule that the Torrid Inferno would be held every few years to prevent a similar crisis at Cinder Lake. Yeah, that's why the Torrid Inferno continues to this day. It's still a feat only the strongest bikers can accomplish. But for us residents, it's become more of a festival. Looks like we lost track of time chatting about the Torrid Inferno. It's useful as the crisis works. Don't you think so? I need to talk to Casa about powering your equipment. Why don't you head back to the gas station and meet Lucy and the others? Alrighty, Lever Boo. Do your one job you're created to do. Pull the lever! Yay! I feel so bad for him. <laughs> just going to meet the mayor? What took you so long? We saw the Sunflints in Blazewood and heard about the legend of the Torrid Inferno. <laughs> ah, so that's why Caesar was so pumped up. After all, that's her favorite story. She even said her dream is to become a hero, just like the first overlord. 
If she really wants to be like the first overlord, she better forget those childish fairy tales fast. Lucy, you're not a fan of this legend? It's not that I dislike it, but come on, we're all grown-ups here. We should look at things realistically, don't you think? I mean, the Torrid Inferno only happened a few decades ago. How come it's turned into this huge legend? But using an act of God to spread his story far and wide? The first overlord must have been pretty smart. Lucy, Caesar said this kind of old person talk will give you wrinkles. Nonsense! Don't listen to her lies! I use exfoliating <laughs> face masks every day. No way I'll get wrinkles. I'm more and more liking this biker gang. I don't know why. <laughs> <clears throat> Proxy, you can see it too, right? The Torrid Inferno is less about heroics and more about the First Overlord securing control of the old oil field. So you're telling me that Lucy has final boss powers, right? And that Lucy will attack. Got it. <laughs> hey! You're the one that said it, not me. Let's be clear about this. Speaking of which, yesterday Caesar called you Montefio. Lucy, are you related to the prestigious new Eridu Montefio family? Semantics and you know it, Vigatus. I... Too generous to new money, aren't you? But yeah, we're family. So you're from the city. What made you give up that life? <sighs> it's because I never wanted that kind of life where everything is already laid out for you. Plus, my dad only cares about profits and business. Exactly. It's different in the outer ring, especially in the old oil field. The Motor League is all about freedom and justice. <laughs> That's what they say. But to survive, you can't forget about profits and business. Take the Sons of Caledon, for example. Employees need paychecks, vehicles need maintenance, and we need supplies that the city won't sell us. Which means we need connections and money. Proxy, I wasn't just making it up when I said the Overlord's faction is targeting us. The Sons of Caledon have had better rep than the Vanquishers these past few years. So, of course, they're jealous. But the recent bad roots we've been getting have hurt our income, and recruiting new members has been an issue. So, for the future survival of the Sons of Caledon, we have to take the Overlord's title. You've got everything figured out. <laughs> I knew someone as sharp as Faithen would get it. Brute strength and passion alone won't get you far. Just watch. It won't be long before I beat Caesar and take the sons of Caledon from her. <laughs> Lucy, you wouldn't admit it earlier, but it turns out you lost last night. N no, I didn't lose. It was just a momentary truce. After all, prepping for the Turd Inferno is what's most important now. I can put becoming the boss on the back burner. Proxy, let's talk business. The other Faithen mentioned this morning that the lack of hollow data in the Outer Ring is affecting your ability to perform in the Hollows. So for now, we'll be going into the Hollows with you to gather data. Oh, I also need your help with something. The vehicles for the Tour de Inferno need some modifications. We need to get a hold of the necessary parts. At the same moment... Guys, I'm back. Good job, Belle. Come on, I'll help you set up the HDD. No need. I just tested the voltage and network speed here. The HDD is working fine. Fairy and Eos are pretty excited to be in the Outer Ring. But it's a new environment, so it'll take some getting used to. To help Caesar and the others win the race, let's start by gaining a bit of experience. All right, Wise. If you're ready, let's get going. Got two things to do in the Hollow. Collecting Hollow data and buying vehicle parts. Caesar and her crew said it doesn't matter which one we tackle first, so I'll just leave the call to you, Wise. Let's get moving when you're all set. Curious about the Commission or the Sons of Caledon. Talk to Bernice, Lighter, and Piper. Actually, I'll 
actually, I am curious about it. I'm gonna go and talk to those three first. Wouldn't do well to just beeline it all the way through. Uh. Now the question is, where are they? Ah. Hey, Piper. All right. Don't be nervous. This little trucker's got no task for you, so carry on. It all means shame. What a sweet token. Let me let you in on a little secret. This old trucker standing here in front of you is actually one of the most experienced drivers here. They say in the city that all you need for a driver's license in the outer ring is a piece of paper and an iguana's paw print. Paper is easy to find, but an iguana's paw print? That'll take months. Just kidding, but seriously, if you start driving young out here compared to the city, little old me will be taking care of the campground during the Tour de Inferno, so just swing by if you need anything. Frankie's VA? No, what happened? Happy duty trucker. Short on hands, so this trucker ran half the long haul and urgent trip solo. Nowadays, the young guns are taking over. Cold enough to just drink tea and look after steel tusks. Largest truck we have here. Talking about the beast parked at the center. It can haul all your proxy gear with ease. Beauty and super alive. She's been with us to sick and thin. For medial reasons? Oh boy. Already that sounds like it's an issue. Lord knows what it is, though. Oh, medical. Okay. Huh? Well, hopefully they're gonna be okay. Might not be able to voice act, but... Eh. As long as they get better. It's a shame that we don't have another pal to say no. Well, let's just hope the person doesn't get too much backlash for just filling in a roll above anything. That's all I'm concerned about right now, because it's the internet. They're going to gripe about anything. Hasn't sounded right, as in opposed to like in the, I guess like in the earlier days of One Piece, I suppose. Could just be with this vocal cords, but at the same time, if it's for medical reasons, I'm not sure then.
No, I still remember that. I just didn't know they were having medical issues, though. At least as far as my knowledge about it. Old oil field still has reserves, and that's why the outer ring doesn't rely on anyone else for energy. These big companies aren't too thrilled about that, though. How long have you been? Not too long. I've got less experience than Lucy. Why did you join them? Big Daddy made me an offer I couldn't refuse. There's more money to be made in the outer ring than you might think. Sometimes just bending the knee or lowering your head is enough. My neck aren't as flexible as I'd like them to be. Proxy, come and take a seat. How about a Bernice special? I'm the bartender for the Sons of Caledon. Whether it's for people or just vehicles, I personally mix everything they drink. I can go down 200 liters of Bernice special in one go. People and vehicles are different. They're not so different. Both vehicles and their drivers need to stay fueled up, don't they? This one's made just for you. Drink up and you'll be full of energy and ready to go. We're not to drink it. Oh my lord! Chili, mustard, and turmeric powder? Oh god. Someone do a challenge of that instead of a cinnamon challenge. There you go. Hello, Zion. Welcome. Caesar said you're a guest from the city, so she told me to give you a proper welcome. Caesar said the same thing when Lucy came, for a lot of recipes, and this was the one Caesar liked the most. Oh my lord. Oh, I feel bad for her now. So I'm <laughs> So I'm collateral damage. Let me make you a fresh front of our top rated turns. Inspired by nitro fuel. It's an energy drink from your city that all the drivers are crazy about. Got your flamethrower. They look great, right? It took a long time to finish the modifications. On the left, it's named Shaker. On the right, is Mixer. It's going pretty decently so far. I'm already liking the biker gang, at least for now. And I will say above anything, yes, I did play a little bit off stream and I did get Caesar. So I've already got the S rank of this banner. The return events that they're doing got me enough that I can do, I think, about two temples from the leftovers. I don't know if I will, but. I can't honestly say I won't try at least. I still haven't looked up the whole thing. Apparently everyone is saying though that the guy is sort of bland though. It was the one I just talked to before Bernice, I know that. Yeah, lighter, that's it. I'm sorry. Big Daddy! Lord, why do they call him that? Only downside. This firepower is a bit too fiery. Lucy won't let me cook until I can handle it with precision. Oh, that's concerning. Gee, how insightful. Thank you so much. Wheels and pals, you're free to roam. Outer rings, a massive playground, you know? 
company's got a few cargo stops at campgrounds. They've got everything you'd need, and you can park your ride there as long as you need. Okay, so they don't stay at one... Okay, so it's basically a trucker's life, then. Essentially. Yeah, it makes sense. Kind of scared of her making drinks, but, you know. Uh, yeah, there you are. I already got Piper. Hmm. Honestly, if I had to pick between the two in order to invest my polychromes in, I might go with Bernice more. At least when it comes to the design of the two, anyway. Hers is a little bit more unique. He just straight up feels like, wow, a biker. Granted, I don't know how they actually do in combat, but... Okay. Well, that was insightful, at least, on them. Sis. Alright, ready to go. I mean, ain't wrong. Alright, got two of them. Works for me. Oh, good deal. Let's get to work. Physical and fire, huh? Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be trials. Either that, or I can go with my original characters. Now, you know what? This gives me a chance to actually play with Bernice. Let's actually test her out. Why not? Better be chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin. Speaking of cookies, I do have Oreos. Ha <laughs> ha. Goodness. Sons of Caliban are here, as expected. Let's move! Stick to the plan! We got an orangutan! Somewhere near the recycling plant inside the hollow. The place that refits old vehicle parts is just past the hollow entrance. We'll be there soon. Oh, actually, I've got a question. I heard from Wise that the factory in the hollow sells parts after they've been sorted. If that's the case, why not just buy them outside the hollow? It's simple, really. With so many bikers in the old oil field, the leftover parts that do end up reaching the market are the ones that no one wants. Exactly. It's like if you want top quality fresh fish. Someone has to set out to sea early in the morning and use an airship to get the ingredients back to the kitchen. Hmm. Seems like there'd be a latency issue. Hang on. Uh, I can't really do anything about it. Uh, just roll with it for now. Seems like it's having a sync problem. The game itself. It's not my stream. Eh, we'll just roll with it for now. You're overcomplicating things. But what do you expect from a Montefio? Proxy, it's way easier for us to come into the hollow to buy stuff compared to the hassle city folks go through just to have a meal. Okay, Bernice. Let's actually see how you work. Activate, hold it. If there is enough energy holding again to activate. Double shot. 
Deals greater fire damage and accumulates fire anomaly faster. Seems energy, she will accumulate heat upon reaching 50 points. Enter the nitro fuel cocktail. What? <laughs> Consumes heat to unleash basic attack. Okay, so it enhances her basic attack. Enemies hits enemies. She inflicts a scorched effect when other squad members hit enemies in the scorched state. After fern. Okay. Hmm. Could be a reminiscent to Corin a little bit, I suppose. Ethereals. Watch yeah. out. Let's get this Don't worry. I'll take care of them. That's right. We can try our new fuel. <laughs> oh. Okay. Out of the way. Okay. Here I come. I'm here. Yeah, these traps are in the factory to keep ethereal out. And we're really good. Hard to say which one is more dangerous. Traps or Bernice. This one. I'm gonna burn them to the ground. Hmm? There's a lot of ethereals around here. Let's see it as us helping the boss of the recycling plant clean up a bit. Oh! Quit daydreaming. Oh my. Okay. I'm actually liking your play style. Plant is just up ahead. Reminder: the ether concentration here is quite low, and spatial stability is normal. No wonder they can still do business here. I saw that. Hey, more goodies. What the? Greetings. By the look of your gear, I take it you're from the Motor League? Hey, old-timer. We're looking for some bike parts. So, you're here for parts too, huh? Unfortunately, we're out of stock until the Torrid Inferno is over. Say what? The heck's going on? Some youngsters came by this morning and bought up all of my stock. Huh? I warned them that buying up everything would make things difficult for my other customers, but the Thyron girl leading them seemed awful fiery, and uh, they paid well above market price. A Thyron female. Oh my lord. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be another one of the furry baits. <laughs> you better make sure you eat a lot. Oh. She said she's from the Sons of Caledon and that they were prepping for the big challenge since they finally got a spot to compete. Wait, do we have any Firens? Grassy, Woody, and Bricky aren't girls, right? Uh, Bernice, the heart of the matter is that someone impersonated us and bought everything here. Wait, what did you say? Uh, we're the real Sons of Caledon. We have no idea who those other people are! Oh, damn. Not only did they keep us from getting parts, they also tarnished our reputation! They played their hand well. Well, actually, the whole thing just feels wrong to me. If you can persuade her to change her mind, I won't object. Just, uh, don't mention it was me who told you. Where did those people go, old man? Oh, after they bought everything here, they headed straight to the abandoned vehicle graveyard deeper in the hollow when they heard there were more parts there. 
Looks like we've still got a chance to catch them. <laughs> Let's get going, Proxy! I need to go to the vehicle graveyard to get my bike back. Can we make it in time? Don't worry. Bell asked Piper to bring the vehicles here. This way. There's a special fissure nearby. And in we go! We'll be able to rendezvous with her soon. Oh, Proxy! I knew we could count on you! The rendezvous point is near the highway. There. Master, please be aware. Explosive items detected in the vicinity. Oh, it's awesome. Watch me burn him to the ground! Warning. Bernice has activated reckless charge mode. Ah! Who's that? What terrible taste! Someone who uses Golden Dancer in distress as their internal username has no right to question my taste. Wow, fairy! Ah! Oh. Okay, I can't let that go. Oh my good! Uh, I'm just gonna say it again. She just sounds like 2.0 of the freaking portal girl. Lord. Yay, goodies! I just like how she uses her pegs as ammo. Do this. I'm actually kind of sold on Bernice. I would love to have her. Biosignals detected in the area ahead. Great. Piper's already here. I can finally get my back. Heeding the proxy's call. Little old me wouldn't keep you waiting for a minute longer. Your rides are here for you. Let's get a rolling. Thanks, little old you. Guys, let's ride. Makes me wonder how old she actually is. Anyway. Slow down, Bernice. We're going too fast. It's time to find out who's the fastest. We might be able to get ahead of them. Woo-wee! You youngin' sure got some fire in your belly. Proxy, get on! Let's head out! Bang boo on a motorcycle. That just sounds adorable. <laughs> Perfect! We're the first to get here! 
Oh, that's a problem. Oh. I was thinking, since we have the upper hand, we might as well call it a day. But really? seeing you like this really brings out my predatory instincts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, first off, I feel like the internet's gonna go crazy over that. I'm a surprise that I haven't seen anything of that. But second, uh, I'm really liking her. Ugh. All right, let's do this. Please. Look, she's a cat siren. Brace. Hi, ball. This tail, if you don't know them. Oh yeah. First one you need to be a pattern of the king, right? Ah, uh, don't patronize me. No, can't you do you and your angry. The enemies are tired. Keep it up. Ultra. Oh my goodness. My cheesy poops. What? You give up? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Explain yourself. It means the refitted parts will be returned, and I'll give up the parts from the vehicle graveyard. So let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Huh. Pretend none of this ever happened? What? Feeling hard done by? After I bought the parts, no one else should have come by. This shouldn't affect the Sons of Caledon's reputation. Besides, if my employer finds out I failed, it won't do me any good either. So I'll say the job's done. You benefit from this too. Pretend none of this ever happened? Come on, what's your deal? What more do you want? now uh what kitty you're really good i've never seen a thyron as skilled and cute as you before cute wait what are you talking about i mean it and it looks like the legends are true cat thyrons aren't loyal to their masters i feel like bernice just wants her to stay only because of the fur and possibly to burn her up <laughs> Oh, I'm just a mercenary working to get paid. And about my employer. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of him. But I can't reveal his identity. I don't want to cause trouble for myself, so don't even go there. That's okay. We won't ask. Hey, Bernice! This isn't your decision to make! <laughs> Leave her be, Lucy. Once Bernice has her mind made up, nothing's gonna change it. Kitty. If you don't like your current employer, why not join the Sons of Calidon? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you afraid I'll betray you? No one's safe from the sharp claws of a cat firing. Is that to be said the same thing with the pub sec officer? Because to be fair, he is a cat. 
just not a full thigh in this outfit. Anyway. Don't worry, I've heard that kitties choose to partner up with only the strongest. The sons of Calidon can definitely live up to that. We'll see. Once you've actually proven you're the strongest, at least. And stop calling me Kitty! I do have a name. It's Polkra. Okay, Polkra. Let's play again next time. With a playmate who doesn't know their own strength? I think I'll pass. But... I am partial to warm places. I mean... Everybody keeps calling him a cat boy, so I don't know what to tell you about that. He could be for as far as I know. He could actually be a lynx. Uh. Let me check real quick, actually. Where I am. No way to be. Let's start found. the experiment. Only the brave will win. If you need help, call me anytime. Hey, boy. A mission? Take me along! We fight only, awaiting further in- <laughs> Only- If you need help, call me anytime! I'm honestly not sure. Look at that pretty boy. Anyway. A mission? Take me along- hm. uh, uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? If you need help, call me- A new case to solve? Let's start the experiment. Ready and waiting. Wanna <laughs> be my research subject? Oh, did I finally get it? Hey! I'll take it. That will help. Hey! And the other one I need to get done. Unexpected challenge. Oh, you're actually you want to test my hammer? Touch me. Standing by. It's up. Ready for. Mm. I shall follow your orders. Everybody's best boy. Thank you for the recognition. I'm bringing him in no matter what. Can't tell me otherwise. Anyway. If his tail has been wagging in any of those naughty things, it is not true. Hey, hey! Wise and everyone from the Sons of Caledon, can you hear me? Our mission is to collect hollow data. Wise, you know what to do, right? Got it. It's just like that time with Billy. Don't worry, Proxy. Unlike Billy, we won't let the Ethereals chase you around. Can I ask a question? Lighter always calls Billy brother. Is there a reason for that? Oh, that's because every biker gang in the old oil field has champions. Lighter and Billy are our champions. The first overlord established that any gang joining the league must act with honor. Eh, maybe a little more. Though I do feel in recent times, Lycan has gotten a lot more love. Especially since it was his birthday recently. Normally, the Overlord mediates disputes. But if he's not around or an agreement can't be reached, they settle it with a duel. That's where the champions come in. <laughs> the boss is right. Champions bear the honor or humiliation of the entire gang. We also serve as the leader's bodyguards. However, considering the boss's strength, she really doesn't need protecting. What did Big Daddy say again? Ah. A ruler doesn't need to be the strongest or the smartest. Just someone who can unite the masses. I'm not surprised with you, Vigatus. But in the Sons of Caledon, I just so happen to be the best 
spider. <laughs> How can you say that? Lighter doesn't have enough to do, and it's all because you can't control your temper and get into fights yourself. <sighs> I even had to find other tasks for him to do. <laughs> Proxy, to be honest, for the longest time, I thought Lighter was here just to do odd jobs. Well, Lucy sure knows how to get the most out of the money she spent. Master, you have reached the data collection area. Great. It's just up ahead. How dare you all this off on me? <laughs> data pile one initializing. Location has been marked. Lucky it's not too far this time. Cool. Grab that data pile and let's move. Right away, Your Highness. Data pile two initializing. Talking. Activation complete. We we'll just need to install one more and it's done. The perfect installation location has been selected for you. It would be a lot more perfect if it were closer to us. Data pile 3 initializing. Watch out. More ethereals incoming. Detected near data pile two. Let's go, Bell. So 
fire signal here in Mount Hago, and the signs on the ground show that the data pile was ripped out by force. Looks like someone stole it. Couldn't have gone too far with that data pile, so let's look around for some clues. Where we came from, clutter on the ground hasn't changed. Yep. There was a barricade here before. Looks like someone bulldozed right through it. Is this... A hidden fissure? Oh, goody! Biosignals detected nearby. Hurry up! There they are! Glider! <coughs> Glider! You know those people? Don't think so. But judging by the get-ups, they're in the biker gang too. Seizing the advantage. The brave fear nothing. Time to clean the field. Good. I missed a cash. Aha! Hold it right there! I've caught you red-handed, you bunch of filthy thieves! Hey, little girl, watch your mouth! Who you calling a thief? <laughs> you, obviously. The data piles you're holding are the property of the Sons of Caledon. We put them there ourselves. Which biker gang are you running with? You should be ashamed of yourselves. <sighs> Who we are is none of your business. You say these are yours, but can you prove it? Of course. These data piles come with receipts. All I'll have to do is just compare them with the registration numbers. <laughs> You're that Lucy something something from the city, aren't you? Yeah, we've heard about the loudmouth strategist of the Sons of Caledon. It's clear you certainly know how to talk a big game, but we're not buying it. Look at these piles. There's no number on them at all. Huh? The numbers on the data piles are gone? You see, these data piles were just abandoned in the hollow. Unclaimed equipment. According to the League's rules, it's found as keepers. <laughs> To think the sons of Caledon would try to snatch our stuff using such a feeble lie. <laughs> That's hilarious. At first I thought you were just small-time crooks, but you've clearly come prepared. S Lucy, what are you talking about? To grind off numbers engraved on a metal surface in such a short time, you'd need a specialized grinder. Since they've even gone to the lengths of preparing that kind of equipment, they must have planned for this well in advance. Ah, I see. Since Lucy doesn't want me meddling, I'll leave this to you, Lighter. Got it, boss. Looks like it's my time to shine. Listen up. I may not know the reason, but it looks like you're looking for a duel. <laughs> yeah, since we're all bikers, this is the only fair way to solve a conflict. Lighter, they say you haven't lost a single duel since becoming a champion of the Sons of Caledon. It's time to remind you of the humiliation of defeat. <laughs> I don't think you'll be forgetting the Ember Arena anytime soon. <laughs> yes, it was tough going for you for a while, huh? <laughs> taste of pain must still be fresh in your memory. <laughs> it really does. I have to agree with you. <laughs> to be straight with you, our champion's from there too, but while you were twiddling your thumbs, he built up a 20-fight winning streak. Wait, it can't be. <laughs> but you're shaking in your boots, Lyda. That's right. You know Not just sure. who we're talking about. Uh... Sorry, what what's his name again? You smug jerk! It's me, Balam! 
You ended my 21 streak, you cocky bastard! Just because you're handsome, skilled, happier, and handsome, you think you can just forget my name? Wait, did he just say you're handsome twice? Bellum, huh? That's cool. I'll remember you. <laughs> Don't give me that crap! You've already said that three times! Enough talking! Our briefings today! Right here, right now! Lighter, it sounds like you're tougher than that one. But all that stuff about you losing the thing, is that all true? <laughs> of course it's true. I mean, winning isn't everything in that kind of life. Hey, Lighter! You'd better take this seriously! Don't try to find excuses when you lose! It's not even close! Get <laughs> Sons of Caladon. I'll take responsibility for this. Okay. Okay. Understood, Bellum. Ryder! I came here to face you. Now that we fought, according to league rules, I concede defeat. I just didn't expect that after all these years, I still couldn't beat you or claim my honor. No, you're wrong. You never needed to reclaim any honor in the first place. I didn't mean to forget your name. It's just that everything in the underground fighting scene means nothing to me. What? Hurting an opponent for money, taking a dive for money. <laughs> that life has nothing to do with honor. Only those with no choice step into the ring. You were no different back then. You've got the skills to leave that place behind and become a biker gang's champion. Why leave your heart in that dark, cramped hellhole? <laughs> Murder you. You mean... Be grateful for the Outer Ring. It doesn't care about your past or where you come from. If you've got the skills, you rewrite your fate. If you just want to test your mettle against me, say the word. I'm down any time. After all, I've got a rival that I've been itching to challenge for a while now. I... I will. Murder. Um... Thank you. No problem, Bal... B Bal... Bellum. Uh, Lighter! You never intended on remembering my name. You're just messing with me again! Wait, aside from the name thing, I meant everything I said! That doesn't make me feel any better! <laughs> Aww. Poor guy. <laughs> Oh, all right, late that night after dinner. It's a big good meal after a hard day's work. Pepper's cooking is amazing. Whether it's mystery meat burritos or mystery meat skewers, I can't get enough. I think I just saw insect legs or something in there. Her king pack meals are the best, wise. Uh, so it gives us a taste of outer ring life. Phone's ringing, message perhaps? I want to talk to you about something for you at the hut behind the gas station. Come alone and don't let anyone else find out. Well, that's not ominous.
Proxy, sorry to call you here so late. I'll cut to the chase. I have an extra commission for you, and I need you to keep it secret. Why keep it from the others? We're in a crucial stage of our preparation for the race, and I don't want this throwing anyone off their game. You must have noticed. Lately, every time we go into the hollows, we're met with one obstacle after another. Ugh, it's clear someone has it out for us. No. Really? I did a background check on Bellum and Polkra. There's no public info linking them to any biker gang, but I bet they've got something to do with the Vanquishers. I feel the same. After all, the Tour de Inferno is a duel between your factions. Also, knowing Lucius, there's no way he's not involved. <sighs> but we don't have solid proof, so we can't do anything about it. Proxy, I expected some tricks from our rivals, but something's off. Their intel is always right on the money. If they didn't know about our plans ahead of time, how could they keep getting the jump on us? Someone in town must be feeding intel to the Vanquishers. Do you need me to help out? Not for now. I need to narrow down the suspects first. I'll look into it. I might need your help further down the line, though. Don't worry. Faithen will take the commission. Thanks. Oh, and just a reminder, don't tell the others. Especially Bernice and Caesar. Bernice can't keep a secret. And as for Caesar... Well, never mind. You really care about Caesar, don't you? N no way! Ah! Hm. I have intel Caesar doesn't know, which means I have the upper hand. That's all. Anyway, I'll contact you once I get a breakthrough. Wait for my word. Bye! About Lucius. And how I know it was him. Lucius loves making others do his dirty work. Hiring mercenaries and keeping his hands clean. He's been using these tricks ever since he became the Overlord's right hand man. If you dealt with him before, you'd know what I mean. To be honest, I have a feeling he's involved in that accident when you first came to the Outer Ring. I looked into it, and none of the Motor League's trucks took that route that day. Is an attack aimed at us? We decided to hire a proxy before settling Blazewood, so that information couldn't have leaked. Alicia's probably got the details from the Motor League's records of trucks entering the area. We aim to cause supply losses or even casualties for us. Sorry for getting you dragged into this mess. Proxy's life is never short of risks. No, I will not deny the Bang Boo his one and only job. Hold the lever! <laughs> Poor old guy. <sighs> what did Lucy say? Lucy's got valid concerns compared to relatively known enemies and threats from nearby that are more concerning. Lucy's investigation might take a while, guys. Since we're free for now, let's get back into our own thing. Let's hope we can get this dealt with quick. And I'm gonna lay down on the bed. The most comfortable smells fresh and clean. And this is the mine. You drop off to sleep. Pull the lever! Good job! <laughs> Hey, Bell. Alright, let's talk about the request. Keep it going. I'm still very curious about this. Shoot Lucy a message and ask her about how the investigation is going. Maybe we can help. I was just about to message you. I've got some clues. How's it looking? We have a suspect, but it's kind of tricky. Meet me where we met up last time. Got it. We're right there. Oh, 
Proxy, it's you. Are you looking for Lucy? Yes. I wanted to go over the details of the Tour de Inferno with Lucy. Ah, Proxy. You really know how to keep your mouth shut. That's good to know. I've said it before. If you can't keep a secret and are slow to react, you're not cut out to be a proxy. Piper, were you testing me just now? Sorry, sorry. But what comes next is crucial, and it's messier than we thought. Oh, joy. Proxy, the suspicious individual was discovered by Piper. She'll fill you in on the details. Here's the deal. Ever since we've set up camp here, I've noticed something odd. Every time Blazewood ships out their handicrafts, Casa always leaves town for two or three hours at night, carrying hollow gear with her. Since Lucy told me there might be a mole, one night I pretended I couldn't sleep and talked to Casa when she was about to leave. She said she was out for a stroll because she also couldn't sleep, and then she just went back inside as if everything was normal. But an hour later, she snuck out of Blazewood again. Looks like Casa could very well be the informant. Ugh, this is terrible news. Casa's relationship with the Sons of Caledon goes back longer than I've been around. We set up camp here because of that trust. And to Caesar, Casa has always been like a big sister. Someone she can rely on. If she really has backstabbed us. The long-standing bond between Blazewood and the Sons of Caledon would be ruined. So... We have to investigate this discreetly. If we're right about this, we need to solve it without Caesar knowing. This is a tough situation. Like speeding downhill heading for a turn, but your brakes are out. But dwelling on the worst case scenario won't help. We have to roll with the punches. Cause that's how the Sons of Caledon do. Piper's right. Once a wild boar charges, there's no backing down. Proxy, I heard there's another shipment going out in a few days. Casa should follow her usual routine. We'll follow her at night and see what she's up to. Tide of the Blazewood shipment has finally arrived. It's already left town. Let's pack up and get moving. No, I didn't get everything. I'll come back for it later. It's not that big of a deal, but the polygraphs are kind of worth it. Uh. You want to test my hammer? I shall follow your orders. Hey, don't... <laughs> yeah, you know what's good! Yeah, sure, why not? She has a fire type. Could use it. All right, we're in the hollow. Now things with Bernice and Caesar. How are things with Bernice and Caesar? I checked. Caesar's already asleep. That girl's got a routine like clockwork. And Bernice is all taken care of. I sparred with her the entire day to wear her out. Looks like tonight, the ethereals in the hollow won't taste my perfect one-hit KO. They got off lucky. Quit whining, Glider. If you'd hit in the nitro fuel better, we wouldn't be in this mess. All right, let's get moving. Only the three of us in the proxy can handle this now. I saw that. Haha. Yeah. 
Hey, but please, hold your horses. You have no real shame in the two boys you can pacify them. I'm glad you can be here, Safra. Let's search the area first. Ground past the barricade looks damp, but no purple. Looks like this isn't the right way. All doors are locked and no clues about Casa's whereabouts. Only we might have a witness here. Let's try asking that bang boo over there. Nana, nana, nuna. Bring you back, master. I, I wasn't napping. Huh? You're not master, or the one with the pointy ears, or the tall guy. Who are you? The master asked you to come. The goods are fine, and the ether concentration is low here. Everything is all good. The eared one picks up the stuff. They're really scary, and I don't like them. The tall guy came before Master did. He said he was also sent by Master to check on the cargo. The tall guy took something out of a box. I tried to stop him, but he said it was fine. As long as I don't tell Master, Master wouldn't get mad. You're not Master, so it's okay to tell you. Shabby, love it. If you're looking for Master, go through that fissure. It's hidden behind a stack of cargo boxes. Dear Foxy. Uh yeah. It's the exit! Let's go! No! I want this first! Yeah. Hey oh. A fissure, okay. We agreed. Morse? You were supposed to come alone. What are you talking about? Hand over the goods like you promised. <laughs> if you want the goods, you're gonna have to pay up. <sighs> or... I'll just take it from the sons of Caledon. Wait, what? You're mine now, and my prey never escapes. Oh yeah? Bring it on! Morse Cossack, let's settle this right now! Caesar trusted you! What are you doing running with them? Hang on, Lucy, I can Send me you. right round, baby, right round! You met up here oh. in What else is there to explain? What did they hook you up with? It's not like that. It's just that the town is in dire need of necessity. Ever since the gas station ran out of gas, we've been running low on money and resources. <laughs> what? You never mentioned any of this 
Supplies will get corrupted if left in the hollow. Casa. Mm -hmm. Take them with you. Uh. Huh? Armageddon jacket, okay. Overlord Pompeii? Been a while, Caesar of the Sons of Caledon. To think that little sprout by Big Daddy's side would dare bring her underlings to challenge me. Overlord Pompey, while the Sons of Caledon still recognize you as the leader of the Motor League, you'd better explain why you're here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That will be addressed soon enough. But first, there's a more pressing matter. Caesar, these goods are what the Vanquishers promised to deliver to Blazewood. Are you deciding to let the mayor take them? Don't push your luck. Lucy, wait. I heard you arguing with Casa earlier. I checked these boxes. They really are food and medicine. They weren't lying, no matter where they came from. These are things the town needs, but... Casa, if you're in a bad spot... Why didn't you ask us for help? We've known each other for years. Caesar, I was actually planning to ask you for help, but then you came in all excited, telling me you qualified for the Tour d'Inferno and asked if you could stay in Blazewood for a while. The Sons of Caledon have helped Blazewood so much over the years. At a crucial time like this, we have no way to repay you. So how could we make you worry about this for us too? Repay? Selling us out to the Vanquishers is your idea of repaying us? Selling you out? Wait, Lucy, I've never betrayed you. I just made a deal with the Vanquishers. We trade the handicrafts we make for supplies. She's telling the truth. Although you have the favor of Blazewood, as the Overlord, I couldn't turn a blind eye to the needs of the residents. So I presented them with an opportunity. When Casa suggested moving the trade to the Hollow to avoid any misunderstandings, I agreed. After all, we can't disrupt the peace among League members. Okay. So you're saying the leak about our whereabouts has nothing to do with you? Standing your ground is a good trait, but not knowing when to back down is just disrespectful. I'm here to resolve this matter. Today I found this in the handicrafts Blazewood delivered. A sunflint heart. Given by Pompeii, a little bottle made of iron, usually with some oil inside as a blessing, but this one has an electronic chip instead? They were bugged in the literal sense! Oh! Is that a listening device? Moors, this vial should have contained heavy oil, the lifeblood of the old oil field. So why is this here? <sighs> Also, the supplies delivered to Blazewood of late seem to be less than what was agreed upon. Do you know anything about this? Boss, Pompey, I... I... Moors, I didn't bring you along for the Tour d'Inferno just for you to play dirty tricks. If we, as the League Overlords, are not just, then who would want to remain part of the League? And who would protect the old oil field? I'm so sorry. I messed up. I wasn't thinking straight. It's all my fault. I'll take the punishment. You're willing to take your punishment. Do you think you alone can bear the responsibility for the damage that you've caused? Sons of Caledon, Casa. Moors is my subordinate. I failed to manage him properly. 
I won't shift the blame onto him. As the current overlord, I'll take responsibility for this and provide compensation. <laughs> nice speech. Now how do you plan to fix this? Recently, I negotiated and reached cooperation agreements with several areas neighboring the old oil field. According to the agreement, the old oil field's damaged oil pipelines can be rebuilt through other regions, as long as we provide some of the oil to them. Wait, does that mean our town's oil supply is saved? That's right. Within three months, the supply should be restored. Also, several regions have agreed to share the roads, opening up at least five new freight routes for the old oil field. Hey! Sons of Caledon, in the next six months, I plan to have you manage three of these routes. I take it you won't refuse. You mean you're just gonna hand them over on a silver platter? I heard you've been drawing bad routes lately. Though it's just a coincidence, it's time to compensate you. And though the new routes are lucrative, they also traverse treacherous areas and require experienced riders. I have a condition, though. You need to help the less fortunate residents in these three regions for free during this period. And any teams using the routes in the future must do the same. How does that sound? Hey, Lucy, how are the terms? Are they really as good as he says? If it's true, it does solve our long-standing issues with Blazewood. Plus, with expanded routes, the other biker gangs would see a significant income boost. Hmm, I see. Hey, old man, your terms are certainly interesting. But it looks like you're making assumptions. The title of Overlord and who gets to allocate the roots hasn't been decided yet. If I become Overlord, I'll be fairer than you. <laughs> you can certainly talk the talk. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, I agree. Caesar, here's a letter of commitment I wrote myself. The root allocations will be officially announced soon. See you at the Tour Inferno. Oh. Well, let's hope it actually goes that well. That's the only issue I'm having with this. So, it turns out, Moore's bugged the handicraft sent to Blazewood for processing and was listening in on our conversations. Yes, and once the goods were processed and shipped out, they could discreetly retrieve the listening device. It's a flawless plan. If that's the case, why did the Overlord reveal this? At that point, we hadn't even discovered the listening device. Even if we hadn't found the listening device, once we cleared things up with Casa, we would have eventually started to suspect the handicrafts. That's right. If we found the bugs ourselves, things would have gotten out of hand. Is there a difference? Oh, Bernice, always so optimistic. The Overlord stepping up shows some sincerity, at least. If we had confronted him, even if it was all Moore's is doing, we wouldn't have accepted his terms, right? Mishandling this could have shaken the foundations of the motor leak, jeopardizing the safety of the old oil field. You could jeopardize the safety of the entire area? Yes. We've been able to live relatively peacefully, thanks to the League ensuring the security of our oil resources. You have to understand, our oil isn't just coveted by other regions in the Outer Ring. Big city companies see it as the only thing stopping them from expanding into the outer ring. If something happens to the oil, the biker gangs might have a chance to move to other areas. But everyone else won't be so lucky, especially Blazewood. The residents are mainly the elderly or children, and their ether aptitude is weak. Oh, Proxy, there you are. Sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Proxy, I want to discuss Caesar. Ever since we met with the Overlord, She's been acting weird. She's usually straightforward and energetic. But lately, she's just been sitting on her own, lost in thought. She's even eating less than usual. Caesar's worried about something? It's strange, right? Lighter offered to train for the Turd Inferno with her, and she said she'd think about it. I think it's related to what happened that day. But if I ask her, she won't tell me the truth. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, just so you know, I don't really care what's wrong with her, but she's still the leader of the Sons of Caledon, and I can't let her affect the others. Proxy, can you come up with something? Lucy, 
How about I take Caesar out to take her mind off things? I'm planning to head back to New Eridu tomorrow to copy some offline data. It might be a good opportunity. That's a good idea. And Caesar hasn't been to New Eridu much. You can show her around. All right, I'll handle Caesar. Tomorrow, have her take you to New Eridu on her bike. I'll leave the rest to you. Caesar, we saw the information leaking clear across his name. Caesar should be relieved, all right? It doesn't sound like Caesar's style. On top of copying the data, how about taking Caesar for a stroll? Relaxing a bit might help clear our head. It's getting late, boys. You should get some rest since you're heading out tomorrow. Pull the lever! Awakened by the chirping of birds. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Mention you're heading back to New Eridu to copy the data. Let's get started then. Let's go. And a play store. So this is where the famous Faithin lives and runs a video store. <laughs> that reminds me. Sometimes Lucy comes all the way to New Eridu just to see movies that feature her favorite stars. Caesar, you haven't been to New Eridu much, have you? When we do get business in the city, we get hold of temporary entry permits. But I rarely make the trip. I was born and raised in the Outer Ring. I still prefer a place that gives you the freedom to roam. How about we explore the city today? I'll be your tour guide. We have some time while the data copies. And there's nothing else to do while we wait. All right, you're the boss. Speaking of ways of relaxing New Eridu, let's try the holiday default plan. Watch movies, drinking tea, milk, and shopping. Well, it's Belle's default plan. She's as a girl too, and she's around the same age, so she probably won't be too opposed. Let's take Caesar to Luminous Square first. To the pedestrian area! Whee! Oh, goodness. Well, so far everything has been looking up. Even the little bit of lagginess that usually comes with Zen the Zone kind of seems like it's been cleared up for the most part, so I'm actually happy about that. Nah. See, as soon as I say that. Ugh. Gotta love the lag jumpy. Cinemas in the city are huge. It's like a whole block. We don't have luxury skyscrapers there. Our cinemas are just some large rooms with video players. But the air kind of drive in cinemas too. Oh, I miss those! I still remember the old one back in Oklahoma. Aww. I haven't gone to that in ages. Was it Oklahoma? Wait, no, I'm thinking Texas. Never mind. That's why I said that. Ugh! <laughs> Though we did have one in Oklahoma, but I don't know if it's even up and running still. I haven't gone over there. God knows how long. 
Nope. Unless it's back in the 80s. Uh, good old times. On clear nights, bikers were rolling for miles to catch some awesome movies. Sometimes they even duked it out for a good spot. I didn't expect city cinemas to be so crowded though. That's when cinema showing award-winning movies this week with a unique theme every day. It's all about thrillers. Port Peak, Attack on Cybers, Big Hollow, and Coffee Made available. Oh no, it's thriller day today. Seems like there's an odd one out. Talking about Coffee Made, right? Well, it's labeled romantic comedy. It's today's pick for its heart racing effect. Most viewers' pulses will go wild. Heart racing? Really? Are you into this one? N no, not at all. It's a rare cinema trip. Let's just catch a thriller for kids. Sensing Caesar's call. Checking tickets now. We still have empty seats for Attack on Cybers and Coffee Mate. Two Attack on Cybers tickets for you? Sure, I guess. Compared to the Cybers horde climbing the tower at the end, I love the scene where they broke free from the underground more. Elevator malfunction had me holding my breath. You look pale, Ice. Are you alright? It's just I can't really handle thrillers. Wait, could it be your... Hey, stop laughing at me. Sorry, sorry, no offense. It's just I feel like I'm seeing enough side of you. I thought you were just naturally poker-faced. Thanks for picking the thriller. It was for me, right? I'm really happy I got to watch a movie with you today. Where are we heading next? Let's grab a drink. Yeah, the drive-in cinemas. I still remember... At least one time I remember, I think I watched one with... Oh god, who was it? I don't think it was mom. I think it was dad? Maybe. I can't remember specifically, but I know I did used to watch them back in the drive-in ones. They were fun. Alright. Coco! Only up to you, but you really need to consider the suicide. Catch you later. Think about it. Mm. Bernice and I swung by last time. She grabbed a drink from here, and it took us ages to eat. Bernice said it was a rare journey to the city and that she was keen on uncovering the tea milk ingredients used in the city. So she ordered all the toppings on the menu to be added. You mean the lady on the motorbike, right? I remember her. I'm sorry. While we don't have a huge range of toppings, I should have explained what would happen if you added them all back then. Sorry for the terrible drink you had. It wasn't your fault. Plus, we had to queue up for a long time to get out of the city for a temporary inspection that day. This saved us from starving. Today, I'll go for a regular one. We've seen the movie and had our drinks. Where should we go next? We've got some time to spare. How about we walk around nearby? There's lots of interesting shops in Lumina Square. You might see something you like. Okay, let's go. Everyone, watch out! Stay away from that fugitive! Burly man charges through the crowd, followed by several flustered... Uh -oh. uh. That guy has a dangerous look in his eyes. Those guys chasing him don't stand a chance. Take care of yourself, Wise. I'll be right back. Uh, wait. Hello, Wise? Caesar, where are you? Are you okay? Don't worry, don't worry, I'm fine. Ew. I already caught the guy. Don't forget I'm even stronger than lighter. And besides, you weren't that concerned about me when I was dealing with ethereals before. Humans are sometimes more dangerous than ethereals. Wow, that's so old school. You sound just like Big Daddy. You can call me Big Daddy. Now! 
So, are you still nearby? I got totally turned around chasing him through the alleys. So, I am a little lost right now. Give me a minute and I'll come to you, hmm? Hey, Wise, can you hear me? What the? Outer ring has many dead zones for signals, so not having a phone isn't really a big deal. <gasps> it's causing a problem. Did you manage to contact your friend yet? The phone is ancient. My daughter is your age and she charges hers out. She uses her out every year. Outer ring, right? Most from the outer ring work in the faint the faunus corridor. It's rare to see one here. Technically, I guess, but it's still a kid in my eyes. For us dolls, it's just a kid. Following a few kids who were picking berries. So to rescue them and it wrecked his health. He always smirks whenever he mentions that it's I'm off to meet my friend. Take care of yourself. So now I should go meet the proxy. You should check out that milk tea place first. Technically right down the street, but Zoning out is it because of that girl with glasses. She been, she's just a friend trying to talk me out of my job. I started working here so I could have a good choice and take some team out while making a little cash on the side. It's turned into more customer service than I thought. People has never been my thing. This job isn't my thing and the pay isn't great. Why should I stick around if I just want to enjoy my team? If you're thinking of quitting, why hesitate? Seeing customers happy with their drink, saying it's perfect and taste and temperature, it's fulfilling. I want to make drinks that bring relaxation to everyone. I've figured out something. Let's stick around here a bit longer. Look at that booty bounce. Though you asked me to wait at the tea milk shop store for you, I was worried. By the time I found those pup set officers, they told me you had already left. Contact you and I was afraid of losing you again, so I just stayed here. It's my phone malfunctioning, but to have that all together, let's head back to 60. The data should have finished copying by now. And it's getting dark. Let's head back to the outer ring. Thanks for showing me around today. Seems like everywhere in New Eridu is just as busy as the old oil field's biggest market. Badger's respite. So many strange and wonderful things. No wonder a lot of people from the outer ring want to live here. Haven't you ever thought about it, Caesar? With your skills, you could apply for citizenship. Me? Uh, never thought about it. Even now, being here in the city, I still feel like I belong in the Outer Ring. 
Why? It really is you. Long time no see. Hey, Enzo. I saw the note on your door saying you'd be away for a while, but I didn't expect it to be this long. Chop told me he saw you were back, so I came over to check. How are you guys? We're doing good. Thanks, Enzo. Just visiting friends for a few days. I happen to be one of those friends. We'll take good care of Bell and Wise. <laughs> With such a friendly host, we neighbors can rest easy. I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, just drop by my store. Is that guy your neighbor, Proxy? You seem close. I always heard people in the city aren't as close to one another. But from what I've seen today, people seem pretty friendly here too. You asked if I ever thought about living in the city. I guess with so many close friends in the outer ring, I've just never thought about leaving. So, if I want to really protect them, I can't do that. Are you talking about becoming the Overlord? Yeah, Proxy. I've been thinking a lot these past few days. Growing up with the stories of the Torrid Inferno, I always wanted to become the Overlord to prove I was the strongest. But being the Overlord is more than just being the strongest. Even though Pompey's men caused trouble, he stepped in and resolved the situation. He even took care of the problems in Blazewood and with the Sons of Caledon. I only just found out the reason the Overlord hadn't been seen for the past six months is because he had been working on negotiations with the other regions. I would have never thought of doing that. I didn't even know it was an option. When he laid out the terms, Lucy immediately saw the benefits of the new routes for the old oil field. But I only understood after she told me. Casa has been working tirelessly for the town bearing the brunt of all the pressure. Compared to them, I still have a long way to go. Realizing your shortcomings is the first step to becoming a better person. And you have your strengths too, Caesar. Yeah, she really does. When you found those goods in the hollow, you didn't get angry. You let Casa take them out first. At the time, we all thought Casa had betrayed us. But you still thought of the town's residents first, worrying the items would be corrupted in the hollow. <laughs> I think anyone else would do the same, right? Making sure everyone has enough to eat is more important than my pride or my feelings. But hearing you say that makes me feel a lot better. I might not be the smartest, but like a wild boar, once I set my sights on a target, I won't let up until I chase them down. Besides, I've got a great group of friends supporting me. Now it's time to focus on Torrid Inferno. Pompey is a great opponent. This time, We'll find out once and for all who's the best! Totally made me feel so much better. Since we're done here, let's return to the outer ring. I'll wait for you at the parking lot. Boss, here's the new route distribution sheet. The newly expanded freight routes have been assigned to the Sons of Caledon as per your instructions. Yes, put it there. Boss, you've worked so hard for these new routes. Are you really going to just hand them over? If it weren't for Moore's stealing the intelligence, I wouldn't have had to go through all this trouble. By the way, Moore's insists he acted alone. What do you think? Well, boss, you know Moore's was also thinking of our best interests. <laughs> You're giving me the answer to a question I never asked. But you don't seem too surprised by all this. Wanting to win isn't a bad thing. But since I'm the reigning overlord, we have to act with integrity. There's more furries! The Motor League stability ensures the safety of the oil wells. If there's infighting, someone's going to get taken advantage of. By the way, I heard that you've had a lot of dealings with companies in the city lately. Uh, that is absolutely untrue. It's just that we had some issues with the protective gear we arranged for the oil refinery. I had to find a way to handle it. I hope so. Lucius, you're smart and ambitious, but always eager for immediate results. Don't let your cleverness backfire. Yes, boss. <clears throat> these documents never end. I've been feeling exhausted these days. Am I getting too old for this? Not at all, boss. You've been talking about the Tour d'Inferno a lot lately. You're clearly raring to go. <laughs> well said. Caesar may have some potential, 
but she's not ready to replace me yet. But boss, please don't overwork yourself for the next few days. After all, for this grand event, you need to be in peak condition. Ominous! He's either gonna get drugged or poisoned. I'm calling it now. Or stupidly drunk. Who knows? Nope. I'm all set. Let's do this. Day of Tour de Inferno arrives. Ready on the move for the kickoff. Let's link up with HDD and get EO started. Hey, don't look down on me. I'm at your disposal. No, I'm gonna have to take my boy with me. Old Oilfield District, Tour de Inferno starting point. Alright, all you diesel loving rascals, watching on TV, you listen on the radio, and cheering loud, travel around! Why am I getting heavy Borderlands vibes? Golly. It's your favorite gal, Jolly Jenny here! I wonder if she's related to Officer Jenny. <clears throat> anyway. Good lord, that imagery. A young man performed the miracle of diving into the flames and returning the hero. And in just a few minutes, new heroes will recreate the legendary Tour de Inferno. I didn't expect so many people. I'm feeling a bit nervous. <laughs> Do what you're good at, Proxy, and leave the rest to us. What's that thing flying around? Good question. Eyes wide open and take a gander at this, folks. To give everyone a front row seat to this grand event, every tour inferno is filmed by drones. And this year, there's only an unprecedented 10 minute broadcast delay inside and outside the hollow. And then, chit chat, let's introduce this year's faction. Defending, we got the Vanquishers. have been a long time coming. The showdown's gonna be a blast. <laughs> You're quite confident, little girl. Do your best and try not to bore me. Alright, folks. Take your positions. The Tor Inferno is officially on! The Vanquishers and the Sons of Caradon are neck and neck as they pass the floor. Can we expect an epic showdown in the hollow? Be careful, everyone. We're about to enter the hollow. Cinder Glow Lake, here we come! Let's do this! Oh, don't you freaking. No way! <laughs> nice! Uh, I'm getting flashbacks of Final Fantasy VII's biker thing. Oh, this will be interesting. Hold the accelerate button to consume fuel and accelerate. You can safely push through obstacles on the road. Okay. And press the button to perform a dodge. 
So dodge allows you to avoid obstacles on the road and safely push through obstacles on the road. Okay. There we go. All, All right. right. We're in the hollow. Everyone, follow this path down into the depths of the hollow. I'll monitor this route in real time. Obstacles detected on the road ahead. <laughs> Piece of cake. Okay. Warning. Dangerous buildings above the road Rest ahead. Pass them. You okay? Uh, not at all. My hair is full of steam. <laughs> That's what you get for being so slow. There are more and more ether crystals around. Ether concentration levels oh. are up too. Everybody be careful. Huh. There's a huge building over there. Probably an oil refinery, right? Big Daddy told me this place used to be incredible. Later. Proxy! Proxy! Wake up! Are you okay? Dang, that was quite an impact. Is your Bang Boo all right? I'm fine. What about the others? I don't know. Lucy and Lighter are missing. It's just you and me when the boulder fell. The ground gave way and collapsed, forming a massive hole. And when I woke up, we were here. Master. Due to the spatial distortion caused by the severe tremors, you have deviated from the planned route. Recalculating your position. Additionally, before the rockfall, a significant release of energy was detected coming from both sides of the road. Please proceed with caution. A significant release of energy? You mean an explosion? There were old oil facilities on that path. Did the explosion come from there? <laughs> <sighs> What's this? When we fell in here, I got covered in this glittery dust. Dust? Now that you mention it, Eos is covered in it too. Hmm? Wait a minute. Isn't this stuff the ether powder left behind after a pure ether explosive goes off? What did you say, Wise? But the Outer Ring doesn't have advanced ether technology. And the city wouldn't sell such dangerous tech to the Outer Ring. So how did it get here? Ah, joy. Why am I not surprised? Since we found this stuff, it wasn't an accident. We were sabotaged. What? Who did this? Couldn't be... The Vanquishers, could it? But when we were at the starting line, Pompey told me to give him my all and give him a proper challenge. He seemed eager to compete. How could he stoop so low? Caesar, although we can't jump to conclusions, with an incident as serious as this, there's no way today's race can continue as planned. The drone should have gotten it all on camera. Bernice is watching the race. We have to tell her the truth and get her to call it off. Understood, second assistant. 
Connecting you now. Oh, hey, Proxy, it's you. What are you calling me for? Everything looks to be going smoothly in the Hollow. And we haven't encountered any battles so far. Huh? Bernice, didn't you see what just happened? What? Did something happen? Why, something's wrong. Fairy says the footage being broadcast has been tampered with. It's not just ours. Even the footage of the Overlord is fake. Are you kidding? Oh my lord. The footage from both sides has been swapped out. I don't think this is just about stopping us from winning the Tour de Inferno. Yeah, their actions suggest they aren't worried about getting exposed later. And there's ether explosives appearing where they shouldn't be in the outer ring. Could they be targeting Cinder Lake? Are you saying Cinder Lake might be in danger? Yes, I think Wise's guess makes sense. Caesar, you're the leader of the Sons of Caledon and our client. So what's the plan? We can try to get out of the Hollow right now and tell everyone about what happened. Or... You're stating the obvious, Proxy. We're heading to Cinder Lake. We can't just sit back and watch. As long as we can protect Cinder Lake, we'll figure the rest out. Got it. Faithen will respect and follow your decision. Uh, wait. What are you all talking about? It sounds like something crazy happened, but it doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Bernice. I'll explain everything to you later. Wise, Caesar, you two should get going. You've got to regroup with Lighter and Lucy. Alrighty then. Not what I expected. Let's on go, Proxy. Ago. We don't have much time. I knew it was going to be messed up. But... Biosignals detected in the area ahead. There's no end to these things. That was Lucy's voice. Let's hurry. Hey, get in that check. Don't worry, we're fine. But the collapse just now was not normal. Seems like it was caused by ether explosives. That's the conclusion we came to, too. Looks like someone is trying to harm Cinder Lake. We have to get there fast. Wait! If you're going to Cinder Lake, you need a bike! Note. I've already detected the coordinates of three motorbikes. <laughs> That's great news! Proxy? Take us there now! Detected nearby. 
Let's go take a look. Soon after Caesar and the others quietly approach the figure. It's Morse. That's weird. Why isn't he with the Overlord and the others? Boss, that guy just now was holding a pair of binoculars. He seemed to be looking at something at the foot of the mountain. It's where the explosion happened. Morse's communicator sounds off. Morse, what's your status? Have you seen the sons of Caledon? Where have they gone to? Reporting in, boss. I've been monitoring their route as instructed. But I still haven't seen any sign of them yet. Still haven't seen them. Those young'uns know how to handle themselves. Now that they're facing some real trouble, they can't take it. <coughs> uh, boss? You okay? Ha! <laughs> Morris, of course the Overlord is fine. Didn't you see him cut down those ethereals just now with a single slash? Lucius, enough trying to suck up to me. After all these years with me, you still haven't gotten over those bad habits of yours. Turn a tail and run in at the first sign of danger, and underestimating your enemies when victory's within reach. Oh my. As a biker and second in command of the Vanquishers, you aren't fit to lead with that attitude. Boss, I get what you're saying. I've always been slow to learn. If it wasn't for you, I would never have even seen the shadow of Cinder Lake. Enough. In the past, you would have fled at the mention of the Tour de Inferno, but now you've insisted on coming along. That counts as progress. Moors, keep an eye on the Sons of Caledon. We aren't far from Cinder Lake. Not good. The Vanquishers are way ahead of us. But by the sounds of it, Pompey knew nothing about the explosion. Is it just me, or does something feel off about Moors? The explosion at the foot of the mountain just now caused a huge landslide. You can see the rising smoke and dust from here, even without binoculars. Roxy, you're onto something! Seeing something like that would usually cause alarm. Even if Moors was sent to spy on us. It's still weird that he didn't even mention this to the Overlord. Hey, Caesar, pipe down! Huh? Who's there? Moors, time to surrender. <laughs> Not gonna happen! <laughs> <laughs> Good. Be gone. Come on, it's what we Through the fissure. Morris must have had something to do with the explosion back there. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now's not the time for this. Focus on dealing with the Ethereals in front of us. The brave? Fear nothing. There we go. Not even close. Lake, the sons of Caledon talked a big game about having a showdown, but this has been disappointingly dull. Boss, you might have a soft spot for that Caesar, but it's their own fault for being so useless. <laughs> but dull can be a good thing. At least we won't have to worry about Cinder Lake for a few years. Whoa, what the? What's with all these ether crystals coming out of nowhere? The ether aggregation catalyst can accelerate the crystallization of free floating ether particles. This is tech developed by City Enterprises to increase ether production, and it works wonders in the unique environment of Cinder Lake. Lucius, do you mean you? That's right, Pompey. I've replaced your spark stone. Cinder Lake will be completely extinguished soon. Oh, oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention. 
when using this catalyst, the nearby ether concentration will skyrocket. Especially for those with a weak aptitude for ether, it will have serious consequences. <coughs> Lucius, how dare you! You won't get away with this! <coughs> There, you give me another scar! You monster! Despite being so corrupted, you still have this much strength! To think I ever had such high hopes for you, I was blind! Do you understand the impact of colluding with the city's ether companies? What it'll do to this place? <laughs> Did you really think we all shared your old-fashioned ideals of freedom and morality, boss? The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of Aether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control! What is it? Boss, we found the Sons of Caladon. They're about to reach Cinder Lake. What? All those explosives didn't take them out? <sighs> we have to retreat for now. Seeing Cinder Lake snuffed out would have been a 90, but now it's down to a 60. Sorry, boss. Time to say goodbye. At least you'll be out of your misery. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered. Weren't you disappointed you couldn't face the Sons of Caledon in a final showdown? Oh, he wouldn't go that- Oh, what the fuck am I saying? Uh. Warning. A significant increase in ether concentration near Cinderglow Lake has been detected. What? What's going on? There aren't any cameras near Cinder Lake, so we can't be sure. But it's definitely not a good sign. Damn. Does that mean we're too late? No matter what, Lucy. We have to get there as fast as we can. Proxy, where are our bikes? The Fisher took them to a place not too far away. Come with me. Hey, Barry, how's the situation at Cinder Lake looking? Rising ether concentration levels detected. I have also detected that Cinder Lake's heat signature is shrinking. I knew it! Cinder Lake is in trouble. We're almost there. Our rides are up ahead. Uh, let's go! Uh, uh, I ain't got time for you, Bozo. Victory's mine! Time to clean the field. Hey, we got bikes. are a bit longer, but they're hanging in there. My stick too. Let's roll out. Oh my goodness. We're almost there. Cinder Lake is just ahead. Caesar, that's... Old man! Hang in there! <laughs> The corruption is too severe. Caesar! Something's wrong with Cinder Lake! There are ether crystals everywhere! What on earth happened here? It's Lucius. He betrayed me. We'll get you out now. We can deal with the rest There's later. no time! Caesar, listen. You you must protect Cinder Lake. <laughs> Oh no. Oh man.
my. Okay, the designs, they are really Wait, going hard, Ball, with this one. It's useless. It's completely turned into an ethereal. Alice! This is our Lucius is doing! He's the one who's firing with an ether corporation to extinguish Cinder Lake! That's right. We are going to this out. We can do what we want, please. Uh. Rising ether activity detected. What? Jump! Amateur. Are you kidding me? No! There we go! Time to take you off your bike! Yes, Master. With this power. Let's go! And you're done! <laughs> Round two, huh? Alright! This attack mode has changed. Watch out, everyone! Huh? 
still get the sparks down there. Uh, what? Oh, please, what? no! Caesar, you can't leave! Caesar, have you lost your mind? You'll die! Caesar! Caesar! If we can't stay here, we'll just leave! You're right, Lucy. Even without oil, we can still make a living somewhere else. But what about the people who don't have a choice? Sorry, but this is what I have to do. No! Oh, come on! Spatial fluctuation nearby. Wait, it's like what? Something is coming our way. It's not over yet. Where is it? Really? <laughs> oh, come on! Oh my lord! Yo, they meet again. <laughs> oh, that's a dick move. <laughs> I actually started to cry and everything. Oh, don't look at me. I'm not crying. <laughs> oh, this game. Wise, everything's packed. We're ready to head back home. Proxy! Good thing you haven't left. I almost missed seeing you off. Caesar, I told you, you shouldn't have rushed over here. With everything that's happened in the old oil field, you need to be there to keep things under control. I told you, I'm just the acting overlord. That day, even though Pompey threw in the spark stone that was replaced by Lucius, he was the first one to reach the finish line. The overlord title should be his. Caesar, speaking of Lucius, any news on his whereabouts? Nothing yet. We haven't found his man Moores either. So now we have two more people on the run. <laughs> Yay. That no good snake. We sent Bernice and Piper to cut him off, but he got away. Looking through the stuff he left behind, we found evidence that he was colluding with an ether corporation in the city. Combined with Eos's recordings that day, the old oil field bikers are well aware of what he did. Proxy, I didn't get to thank you after leaving the hollow. We saved Cinder Lake thanks to you. Couldn't have done it without you, Caesar. When Cinder Lake was about to go out, I almost gave up hope. All I could do was watch as he rode away, getting further and further from us. Hey, don't get emotional on me. I was saved by the fissure hidden under the vent. Yeah, bet! Uh. Isn't it crazy how that went down? A friend who's an expert on this said that due to the complex air currents around the fissure, ether particles are unable to stabilize, preventing it from being sealed off. Due to the balance between the natural gas and the ether particles, the fissure won't be moving anywhere. It's probably been there for decades. Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. When the first overlord reached the lake, maybe that's where he jumped in too. <laughs> Who'd have thought the legend of the first overlord was true? Well, this was an unexpected discovery. Shut up, Caesar. <laughs> People back then didn't know about the Fisher, and the first overlord probably forgot what happened to him. 
So that's where the divine intervention part of the legend came from. True, but isn't the existence of a fissure right in the middle of Cinder Lake already pretty divine intervention-y? Do you remember what happened after you fell into the fissure? Parts of it, but it's hazy. I thought I was done for in the darkness. I thought I would lose consciousness pretty quickly. But I could feel every part of the overwhelming pressure as I passed through the fissure. Then I saw a light in the darkness and instinctively pulled back on the throttle and sped towards it. Next thing, I came out right on top of you all. It was unbelievable. After you said, we meet again, the next thing out of your mouth was, Lucy, if I die, the Sons of Caledon are yours. She's always had her eye on taking over as the leader of the Sons of Caledon. And in that moment, I suddenly realized that I'd never made that clear before. I thought she'd be relieved, but that lunatic jumped up, shouted, I don't want your leftovers! <laughs> and straight up slapped me in the face! I mean, you deserve it, woman! God! It's your fault for saying that. Lucy was still crying when we left the hollow. Yeah, I would assume so! <laughs> yeah, Lucy was really scared I would die. But now everything's fine. Both me and Cinder Lake. Since you're heading back to the city, let me give you something as a memento. Hey, a sunflint! I wouldn't mind having one of those made. Those look nice. <laughs> wow, a sunflint! Yeah. <laughs> All of the Sons of Caledon chipped in. It's a shame I didn't have time to help with the weaving. I just drew the design in the middle. It means a lot. I love it. You're always welcome in the Outer Ring, Proxy. May you rise from the ashes. I was feeling bummed about you leaving. Why not and go say goodbye? Big Daddy heard about what happened with the Tour de Inferno. And over to help me down the... Help me hold him. The wording sometimes on this is weird. Ugh. It's eager to meet you, too. <coughs> okay, so Perman situation. He's been improving these days, but he's not fully conscious yet or able to chat. Harry, I'll give you the heads up once he's ready to talk. And uh, what is the current situation? Uh, Daddy said we'll be in room for a rough patch. Oil's flowing smooth. The vanquishers might go a bit wild with old man Pompey gone. We've got to stay sharp. I know I'm not exactly cut out to be the overlord. We're all in this together. And Pompey has sealed the deal with other districts. I won't let his efforts go to waste. Stay in touch, Proxy. We'll be missing you. Hey! No! Get back here. Yeah. Where are you headed next? Back to our camp at the freight station. It's about our camp. So why not tag along? I'm about to look after my sweet sir. So. Stay here too long and you're bang boo at home, but worry. Your hearts and with new era do proxy. It just as where without our room. Sure, let's hit the drink shop together. When I went with Caesar last time, they were putting food in the drinks. He's throwing a party to celebrate the Sons of Caledon taking the throne. Don't forget to swing by. Catch you later, Bernies. I guess above anything. Yeah, I will try to see if I can pull Bernice above anything. She does really look like an interesting character. And her combat style is really fun. Pays all thanks to you. How much do I need to pay to recruit you into the Sons of Caledon? No more jokes, say travels. You aren't gonna go back to take a look. Back to New Eridu or back to my home? I'll go to New Eridu when the new opportunity arises. I'm the one handling business for the Sons of Caledon in the city. Plus, I need to pick up some clothes and makeup. As for my home, my dad still hasn't given up looking for me. He's reporting me missing to public security and plastered wanted posters everywhere. Since he's so into this whole find me game, playing along with him could be fun, don't you think? <sighs> Did she complain to you? Still mad about that slap? Caesar's realized he's still a bitch. I couldn't care less about what that boar thinks. 
Sons of Caledon will put personal grudges aside. Caesar needs to solidify her position as the new overlord. Big Daddy and I will bring her around. She'll adjust to her new role quickly. Lighter knows what to do if things get messy. We've got everything covered. Safe journey back. Say hello to my dear predecessor and brother for me if you get the chance. Tell him I'm free for a duel anytime. So that person you want to duel is Billy. I heard you two often head into hollows together. You probably already noticed. His combat skills aren't something just anyone can master. Could say he's practically born for battle. Really? I don't see it. Looks like my bro's been doing a good job of hiding his edge. Perhaps to him, he's already got the life of his dreams. Ah! The Motor League may recognize the boss as Overlord on the surface, but there's going to be some who aren't willing to accept it. If they decide to kick up a fuss, I'll be there to teach them how to keep their traps shut. Don't tell the boss about that. The responsibilities of being Overlord is already making her lose enough sleep as it is. I'm getting paid, so of course i got to take a load off of my boss's shoulders for her. Recently I've been thinking it wouldn't be too bad to just stay with the Sons of Caledon as a biker. Boss is truly a leader worth following. Nothing like how I was back then. It's nothing. Thanks to the city, thanks for all your hard work these days. You know, so are always buzzing with energy. Hope we'll work together again. You've been lately. That's sweet. You've been keeping that all me and mine. I've been on the road delivering messages and all. With the incident during the Tour de Inferno and Pompeii gone, clear the air before anyone starts spreading rumors. Lucy ain't nearly as scary as you. She made me visit all the settlements and towns within a week. I'm exhausted. You were fatigued driving, weren't you? Yeah, don't worry. I've handled it already. Little me ain't the same clumsy girl from back in the day. I just wanted to come back in time to say goodbye in person. Friends, right? We bikers got a bit of proper farewell. Well, I'll be tied up for a bit. Caesar's all about honoring Pompeii. Opening new routes ASAP. Looks like little me will be hitting the road again. Tournament will have to wait, I suppose. When the young guns need me, I'll be there. That's off to you. Stop teasing me. Don't make this little old trucker blush. Big Daddy! Oh my lord. A boar siren. Eh. Hello, sir. Skip the formalities, kid. Just an old biker here. Glad to have some young blood around. Saw this coming before the tour did a final. Huh? Thought Caesar needed more life lessons before she'd really understand, but the kids grow up fast, huh? I'd be happy if you're willing to chat with this old man. He used to lead the Sons of Caledon. Retired now, just handling some business stuff. Mm -hmm. Those kids could use a hand. It's not because they're lacking strength or smarts, they've got to deal with some real dim bulbs. To make things easier, I'll step in to clear the air. Don't go tagging stereotypes and outer ringers. Uh, mixed bag from all walks of life. For one thing, I'm not a native of the outer ring. I'm from Eridu. I've accepted the outer ring as my home since Hollow Zero swallowed Eridu. Which means most likely he does not accept the new Eridu. Big Daddy! Friend, I'm sure you've got your own stuff to hear. Okay, I actually really did like this update. This was actually a nice... This was actually real good. Alright, let's head home. Car window seems like a squirrel painting. There's movement and bumps. The desolation of the outer ring slowly turns into the colors of new rarity. The sound of Caesar's motorcycle has completely faded. It looks like we're about to leave the Outer Ring. As expected of the new Overlord. So reliable. It's really cool that they escorted us all the way to the edge of the Outer Ring. 
They even took a bunch of shortcuts that the GPS didn't know. Thinking about how Cinder Lake was almost extinguished, and now we're laughing and driving home? It feels like a dream. What's wrong, Belle? You sound a little emotional. Although we could only prove the fissure in Cinder Lake exists from its effects, apart from Caesar's bold gamble, there really was no other way to save it. But watching Caesar fall, that feeling of helplessness, I never want to go through that again. Oh, girl. Just like that time. Hmm? Bell. Wise. <laughs> no wonder we're family. You must be thinking the same thing I am. Right, Wise? This is the edge of the city. Eos and Fairy are here, too. It's time. Silently turning the steering wheel. Random place service vehicle turns onto a road away from the main avenue. Master, you have deviated from your course. Recalculating a new route home. Don't worry, Fairy. We are going the right way. The road we're taking now is the real way home. Bar follows the city's edge, heading into quieter and quieter areas. The road signs show fewer route options as they go, eventually leaving only one destination. Towards the ruins of the old capital, at the edge of the chasm. Oh. We're here. Let's go up. Come on, Eos. Don't forget your scarf. Oh, no, no. It feels like we haven't been back in a long time, Belle. Fairy, do you know where this is? Search complete. This is the center of the chasm at the edge of New Eridu. The chasm, which preceded New Eridu, was the product of the large uncontrolled hollow disaster in Eridu, often called the fall of the old capital. Ground Zero. Oh, shit. To deal with the out-of-control Hollow Zero during the fall of the old capital, Eridu's leaders at the time detonated the 14 Shuryu pillars from the southwest to the northeast. The power of the explosion sparked a strong geological chain reaction, bringing about the formation of the chasm. That's right. There's nothing in the chasm that can be corrupted, so Hollow Zero can't convert more etheric energy to expand, which prevents it from getting out of control. New Eridu could only be built because of it. Without it, if you keep driving from here, you'll end up on the road to the northern side of Eridu, which is really close to the throne quarter. Within ten minutes, you'll come upon a massive statue. That belongs to the White Star Institute. Turning left before the statue takes you to the former main road number seven of the Minerva Quarter. On the left side of the road were all the old civilization antique shops that Wise like to go to. He was just a kid back then, and always fell for pig antiques. And on the right side of the road were all the dessert shops and snack stores that Belle loved. I couldn't resist Belle's whining and ended up buying more treats than she could ever finish. I couldn't finish them? As soon as any snacks were placed on the table, everyone would grab them up within a minute. Or have you forgotten? How could I forget? So, at the end of main road number seven, after you pass two, no, three security gates, You'll see a beautiful building. Our teacher is right there. She'll be at the entrance with Eos waiting for us. She always liked to stand to the right of the building's plaque. The Helios Academy. That's our real home. It's there now as well. Just across the chasm, deep inside Hollow Zero. Under the rubble of the old capital's ruins. Teacher, we're back. It's been a while this time. And a lot's happened. Ling carries away her unfinished words. Bell picks up Eos, approaches a protective fence. Bangboo stretches out a small hand and ties a red scarf to the metal net. Colorful cloth dances in the wind. Master, second assistant, please allow me to express my condolences for the significant individual who has passed away. Oh, fairy. Should you wish, I can search for her name and accurately determine her location on the memorial monument. Carol. Carol Arna. That name was not found in the database of victims from the fall of the old capital. Only one matching result was found in the related information, resulted in the uncontrollable Hollow Zero, leading to the great tragedy of the fall of the city. The main culprit, Senior Research Director Carol Arna of the Helios Academy, along with others involved, will forever be etched on the pillar of shame. What? Speculation. The name provided earlier was incorrect, or the matching information belongs to another person with the same name. No, 
it's no mistake. The person officially responsible for the fall of the old capital is Carol Arna. She was our teacher. Oh my. She taught us, raised us. The HDD system and EOS are among her many achievements. She also saved us when the old capital fell. Fairy, didn't you ask us why we wanted to investigate Hollow Zero? This is our reason. We became proxies so we could collect enough observation data to one day head back to where Helios Academy once stood, deep in Hollow Zero. We're confident that if there are clues anywhere, it's got to be there. Hmm. Belle and I are prepared to swear on our lives that our teacher isn't the one responsible. We have to uncover the truth about the fall of the old capital and clear our teacher's name. She's innocent, because... Warning. An unknown entity has been detected nearby. Huh? Now? Who would come here? <laughs> Miyabi? You're the head of Section 6, Hoshimi Miyabi. That's correct. And you're the leaders of the independent investigation team with the exceptional guide, Bangbo. I did not anticipate being bested by you. We're honored you remember us. But being bested by us... What do you mean? I am training to be the first to reach the Chasm Memorial. I would like to spend some more time with her, alone. Yubi goes straight to the monument by the protective fence, softly touches one of the names inscribed on its side. So you're here to pay your respects to the deceased too? Yes, my mother. My condolences. I hope you can find peace soon. Thank you, but I don't intend to find peace. Hmm? You... Don't want to find peace? Indeed. I shall not seek peace until all those responsible for the fall of the old capital are apprehended. She looks over with a piercing gaze as if something quietly burns within the depths of her crimson. Pillars. I'll catch them all. None will escape me. The dust settled. All we gotta do now is wait for Pearlman to wake up. If our suspicions are correct, the mastermind behind Pearlman wants the sacrifice hidden in the monument. The activity from the sacrifice can cause disruptions to the smart crystalline lens. Could the sacrifice have something to do with Helios Academy? And how do the mastermind, the monster, and the fall of the old capital tie together? But we've got to stay cautious. Our enemy went after PubSec officers and even hijacked the court airship. They're not foes we can hide all alone. Luckily, we've got some solid allies. Absolutely. Cunning Hairs, Bellabog, Heavy Industries, Victoria Housekeeping, the Sons of Caledon, may even, maybe even Zhu Yuan and Qin Yi. With them on our side, we're not doing the solo anymore. Second Assistant, you forgot to mention the most reliable and powerful AI companion in all of New Eridu. How could I forget about you, Fairy? Thanks for your trust, Master. I'm here to help, as always. That was a bit cheesy, you too. It's late now, and I've got the store to run tomorrow. Let's head to bed. Chapter 4, Tour de Inferno. Well, alrighty then. Goodness. Hey! <laughs> Crashing to less than five obstacles on the road. I'll take that. in order to be able to do a temple. Uh. Ah. As soon as you see the bed, all the exhaustion from the past days hits you like a truck. Time to get some sleep. Hardly ever talked about what happened back then. Not even between you and your sibling. Memories are fresh. Teacher, we have already. Mm.
What the? I'm saying double here. <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be fine. Why is everyone standing at the door? It was your wake. When 18 opened the store earlier, there's a bunch of hand people outside. Almost made me jump. Uh, why are they here? They look chill like they just finished a mission. I'm really curious about the details of their operation. If you want me to check it out, just say so. Alright, alright. Please don't check it out for me. Okay. Hi, as expected of Section 6 elites, you really took down Null Face in one fell swoop. Come on in and have some noodles. 20% off for all of you. Media tends to exaggerate things, but thank you for the generous offer. We'll gladly accept it. And once you're done eating, let's wrap things up here. It was a sudden situation and it's been a long day. Oh, jeez. Please head home and get some good rest. Section 6 will hand over reports. Just drop off a leave of request in your operation. Receipt in the office tomorrow. I'm on a mission with Nagi's office. Free dinner and no paper. Too kind, Deputy Chief. I heard Section 5 is still out there chasing thieves, but we're fucking out already. See you. There you are. It's been a while, Deputy Chief. It's you. Sorry, I didn't recognize you at first. You're the captain of the independent investigation team during the Hall of Zero mission. Your bank boo helped us a lot. I need to be modest. I've heard that your team has been pretty active in Hollow Zero lately. Those administrators are nothing but praise for you. And you to you here, you and your sibling run the video store down the street, right? But that wasn't too far. I gather intel for Section 6, so it's my job to know my partner as well. Sorry, if that made you uncomfortable. Appreciate your understanding. By the way, what if I swing by your store? Some time off today, maybe we should kind of videotape. Gotta promote it somehow. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, more goodies. Lovely. A nice little store, you've got a great collection. Pulled an all nighter working last night. I'm still feeling the grind. Movie to why my brain would be perfect. Bog woke up as an old bang boo in a scrapyard. In order to return to his own body, he embarked on a tumultuous journey. What's wrong? Just remembered, after I followed your bang boo last time, our department upgraded the system for the standard models. Fill out the evaluation forms by tomorrow. I need to remind how the mouse saw that the form isn't multiple choice this time. Busted if he lets a bang boo fall out of him. Not distracted by working. Too many bang boo in this movie. It's triggering my workaholism. I better look for something different. Watching people eat triggers a dopamine release in the brain. Chief will be taking care of the girl I'm living with, so I don't have to worry about her getting hungry after watching the show. Maybe I'll even find a perfect spot for the get together with Section 5 next month. Work again. The last gathering, I had to keep the conversation going with some 100 lines an hour. Boy, awkward silences. I'm already tired to say that. Some offbeat stuff. Supplier for free. Okay, we're going to the sun. That'd be useful to section six. Getting a lot of attention lately. The chief and the others are part of fan base. Resumes are flying in from people trying to get closer to them, and it's even clogged up the shredder in our office. Not this one. We're playing a repeating interview waiting room. But work again? Well, not entirely. It'd be fun to imagine a fresh start while watching job ads. Gooseberry farm with a siren maid? Okay, that's an oddly specific dream. Is it from the videotape too? Well, it's hard to say no to the retirement benefits in section six. And wasn't my first choice. Time flies when we talk. Metro's going to be packed soon. 
Check me out, please. Yay! Wee! Gotta catch her. <laughs> running, 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 running. Running! Hello? Hello? You forgot your video too. Can't afford to let my guard down even off duty. I might actually be a dangerous person. <laughs> Glad I visited your store today. I'll be stopping by more often. If we meet in Hollow Zero, I'll be happy to work with you. Yay! Back to the video store! Caesar. Got your contact info from Lucy. Hey, Caesar. I didn't get your contact info before, but my phone broke. It's not like I forgot about you two. Yeah, your own phone was ancient. Even though I'm a bit sad to say goodbye to my old phone. So now I can talk to you more easily, though I'm not that good at reading and writing, so expect some typos. I can have Strandy just fine. Yay! Hey, I even got their contacts. Nice. Well, to be fair, I do have them. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what have we got? Oh, right. The Overlord's feast is going on. Oh, you can cheese. Cheese a palooza. What is with the titles? <laughs> the titles are random. I'll give it that. <laughs> ah, view the rewards. Oh, cool. I can get another one of her. Nice. Oh, my lord. Looks like there's a couple of things I gotta get done. What's up, Caesar? <laughs> okay. Let's just hey, tackle this bang boo real quick. What do you need? Old photos. The older, the better. Help me find something like that. Films from that area. Ugh. I don't know what this one would be. No. Wait. No, there's no way that can be it. Appert? No. Uh, no. Uh,
I don't think that's it. I think I tried that before and it wasn't it. I still doubt it, but let's just do it. Nope! Of course not. Uh Hey you! Ah! Uh I'm gonna introduce myself from Seth Lowell here because please recommend me some movies for lonely people. Oh this boy! Yes, but it wasn't a prank. I'm really sorry. It wasn't the one who originally sent the message about reserving the videotape. I saw that you had prepared a videotape. It shouldn't have worked for nothing, so I thought it over and decided to rent it anyway. I asked my colleagues about your store. A few of them knew it. Said the service here is excellent. The manager has great taste. an amazing video store manager. So what do you want to watch? Just let me know. Action pack, like one of those classic adventure movies. live in the precinct storms and only return home on weekends so sometimes I get pretty bored after work. No, it's not like that at all. Return it once I'm done. Thank you, manager. Probably wouldn't happen after all. He seems like a trustworthy officer. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Legend has a turn. Uh. Okay. Well, for those of you that stayed so long with me, thank you very much for actually enjoying the Tour de Inferno with me. This VOD is going to be put up on my YouTube channel. That way anybody else can actually watch it. And y'all can experience it again if you want, just to see my lovely reactions. Uh, I am going to go ahead and call it quits for now because I am getting tired and my belly needs food at the moment. So, thank you so much. And your Warrior of Light, Warrior of Light Hrothgar Andy bids you all to have a wonderful night. Please take care. See ya!